coming out of NACL has also improved. Yeah, even just listening to the Player of the Week interview talking about, yes, he may be stubborn, but You're he's telling me this ain't and, trippy? Uh, something that every player within the team has talked about. Aesthetic? He's been a bit of a sponge. And so, like, yeah, yes, last split, a little bit this is harder, aesthetic, bro. but was still a good player. Dude, then you I can go to MSI. Put it up on my he traps was, a in bit. my mind, a spotlight player and how well he consistently was there, and he's carried that over into this split. And I'd also be remiss <laughs> if we didn't mention the growth of quad. Do not spam the summer split. True. His first game against Team Liquid was a very poor showing. He was also under extra scrutiny because of the fact that he did replace Jason uh. from the spring split. But he's moved way up now. Second in solo kills for mid lane. KDA and damage numbers are very solid. Uh, pretty wide champion pool. Shit. So, really happy with his progression. With that being said, Shopify versus FlyQuest. Shopify looked a lot better with Boogie. They did. Yep. I did. And I'm told why. I need to give this prediction quickly because claiming, I need to go but... past. Okay. I think they're, they're, so I'm not going hey, to. I'm not going to give false hope. Shopify. I'm going to say FlyQuest too. What the hell? Oh, oh, oh my hey, God. God. We're all in the Tell green. me how Shopify wins. Right. I want to hear the no, other side. None Even of us are Shopify believers. That's kind of sad. Jet tasks us with telling us how Shopify wins, though. I. I do think FlyQuest win. I think they've been playing really well. I think they are one of our top teams still, and there is a drop off after, mm, you know, the predict. TL, C9, and FlyQuest of it all. If Shopify win, I feel like it's insanity Shopify playing something really interesting, did. 80 mid, and Boogie invading a ton. Shopify yes, and even just looking dig. at the chat, it's not getting any uh, you know, yes. kinder to Shopify oh, no. Was it their first? For a 2 -0 fly quest. A lot of people it just believe that It was their first game dominate, with their new jungle to me uh, just because guy. I don't know what to expect from Shopify Rebellion after last week. It felt like we saw a strong uh, insanity. Like generally this team feels like I'm a lot more on the same page. So it could be a shot. I got FlyQuest 2-0. Yeah, and I think that I got is Fly what Quest I'm looking for. Is Boogie and Insanity and Impact. It is what it is. Boogie's early I like Bucio. How Probably can he potentially sucks. get his lanes ahead? We will see if they can do it. I think it's a very tall task. We'll see what Rafa and Jet have to say as they get into game. I need to stop eating this ice cream. Gracias, Emily. It's Rafa and Jet on the casting desk for FlyQuest between them and Shopify Rebellion. FlyQuest still one of our other top teams among Team Liquid and Cloud9 who just played moments ago. And for Shopify, it's a revitalization stop, for them because last weekend they just picked up their first series win. So they're coming in on an all-time high. Yeah, so I gotta stop. 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 Is stop. Stop. It absolutely is. Stop. And even though all the conversation was about Boogie, stop. I want to go back to insanity. Stop because this was a conversation throughout spring as well ah. of him playing weird stuff. So we had to look into this and we did define weird. It's a pick. Ooh, I like it. Wait. percent pick rate in that role. That's why Zary technically counts, but you could argue me out of that. Either way, the majority of their wins are on weird picks. Three and 13 with not weird Refresh. picks. So I think this needs to be a, have a year's worth of data Weird, good. All right, here we go. Is it, is it series two? Like, oh, so guys, I got to play ads. It's a story I forgot. We've seen with a bunch of lower teams against the top of the standings over years of the LCS. If you cannot play the same game as well as them, then you need to play a whole new ball game. I have and to. Bring I out those non-traditional mid laners for insanity sometimes gives you that extra surprise. How he got that solo kill on Jensen last week on the Jin was a yes. big highlight. Kaisa, I so already like that, that hover. Reminder, Please go Kaisa. So much fun. Come on, guys. They mid Pantheon top in their second game. And the Pantheon top for Fake God was his pick into Renekton. Mm -hmm. so Who's bringing a baby to an event like this? Wait, available I'm going to LCS again. Finals? I wouldn't necessarily count I'm going to try and co-stream from there? Is good at now, so but I what if I brought Miss Sailor Rue? You're telling me Zeri that you guys wouldn't Shopify love here. to meet Miss Sailor? Is you would die. Brand, Stop. Yep. Which was the 2-0 last week, has been banned away. I love the Ivern, though, as it can lead to some very creative things happening in game. And I think that was one of the strengths for Shopify. Boogie coming back in, even in week four, a disastrous loss against Energy after being no, so I'm close. No, I'm not bringing her. I was saying if I did. Row, the fact that Boogie brings a lot more life to the early games of Shopify, being willing to sack his own resources. Right, let's see what the NAR's about because timers uh, in TL and Sinai kept banning NAR. They're unexpected. I'm playing against NAR? He did not. He, he feels like, like a, a in this ranged top player, meta, not, like actually. Sacking your own cams, but he knows what he needs to do in order to get his team ahead. And a lot of it is around that bottom side of the map because he knows B-Boy is still such a strong carry presence on this team. 
He absolutely is. He was the most underrated Corky. player. Corky, bro, can we stop the Corky? I know it's Quinn Blood God, right? But bro, I no, I don't want to see it, man. It's so boring. Is it not the most boring pick in professional play right now? I think it's significantly more boring than Tristana was. Fuck off. The Lilia for Inspired is Lilia with the rising top, well, the double AD solos, whatever. Soul lane picks were already locked in and were already AD, and it will allow him to power farm his way into the mid and late game. If Shopify really want to combat what Fly has shown as their core, I'm obviously you're going to need some strong form of initiation, which is why the Nautilus is getting locked in mm -hmm. for Zazel. But between Insanity and B Boy, I'm looking at long range carries because if you can outrange so and outspace the Lilia, they it's very they got hard for support. to get Who's deep into the backline. The Alistar's up. A little bit of the best, from I'm not the other sure. team members. Jin mid, unironically, is not that bad here, depending on how the Jin versus Corky matchup actually goes in mid lane. As long as they have a really strong damage over time mm. carry for B Boy. So I do expect Renata. them. So they didn't want the to... Renata pick. Bustio really I mean, picked Renata. There's no reason for them to need to pick it on five unless Insanity wants to see the entire comp since the they have? They have mid lane less? Going up against. Sure. But I do appreciate Banziri. that they're letting this go to 4-5 because I think that Nautilus that they locked we in Ziri. is, there you to go. your point, very effective now we against ban. Lilia. Lilia can be very slippery in those late games. I mean, maybe it's not worth bidding supports because Leona's... Oh, no, they've been Leona already. Speed from her Q. FlyQuest taking away another AD carry option in that Zeri as it's proven both to be useful in the hands of Insanity and B-Boy. Shopify down to oh, one Lucian, more ban. Nah, they already took away nah, the Renata. Nah, nah. I think to in, keep that disengage power away. Lucian. I'm curious what the last ban will be, and it'll be a mistake. A little bit interesting with the four or five pick bans coming out. Shopify doesn't want to give away Pryo in too many roles. Also, Masu Busio have been very dominant. By the way, on his two. next split, so is there less LCS the teams? Because aren't they at have actually like, doing like something with Brazil or something? Four of their the five bans with band. Aurora being the fifth, and now yet another. So wait, how many LCS teams are staying in the lead? Four is really clever because for them, yep. it's a flex. Yep. And you get to hide your cards here for There's Shopify. eight right now, so, so quest, two are gone. Now Masu and Busio have to commit to a lane setup. Hovering the Ziggs could be good, giving you some extra safety with that long range. It's bot lane. It's actually As good would have to walk up Never and initiate from the hook, ever. with that depth charge and get pretty close in order to Minus find Masu. Plus. But it's a Lucian instead. And now... I'm actually really curious because technically this Lucian could still go mid. We have Milio. seen Corky but are you in the past towards the beginning of the summer preseason, but not so much. But with the Lucian and Nami locked in, this is pure lane dominance. This is going to be a state. I'll take the Lucian and Nami. I think it's more entertaining than fucking some other shit. Lilia does enough magic damage and inspires a confident enough of a carry that he's going to get pretty fed and be able smolder, to go smolder. magic damage. So the armor go smolder! You need to lose your last place. Go smolder! In this last game we saw where go twitch! Everybody could just build plated steel caps. Wait, the smolder mid not just smack play. here? Come on, go smolder, bro! See, Draven, oh! Draven mid! Because it might actually be Draven mid. It's that so Ranger, but the Draven the mid! Oh, fuck! So because Jin Nautilus is going to be good bot lane against... Oh, shit, wait! Let's mid. see Insanity's Dude, Draven! Insanity no way you can play this! Right now, he is rolling through every single AD carry left in No the way, ball. bro. There's no, so Insanity playing Draven? This draft phase, but now Insanity... Has a moment First of all, you, you don't look like a Draven player, bro. Another mid laner once Let's again. go. Oh, oh wait a minute. Probably haven't Do you think he's... Before. Yeah, and to our previous definition of what... Down mid lane? Pick is, it was across the major regions. A less Didn't he get paid off? True, FlyQuest, true. Role. And currently, it has been picked three total times in major regions in mid lane. <laughs> so I think that's going to count. Okay, so the thing about Draven mid is he's not like these other other mid laners, like the Ziri, the Lucian, the Quirky, the Ezreal, the Triss, because they all have an escape. All of them. They have mobility. Draven has a W that makes him run slightly faster. That's it. Draven's get a GL free card is his E. <laughs> If I tried to switch shop as he did. That isn't, that's not, losing those like, useful. So, I so he's gankable. I support if jungle. If feels confident enough to be in a lane 1v2 by himself, Zazel might be coming mid lane. The thing is, 
Boogie is going to be coming if the lanes mid lane, get is that's when it gets game. On getting this Draven fed. Now again, so I picked FlyQuest to win. As you I can't take Shogun that back. I got FlyQuest 2-0. Oh. But He's the two now that they locked in Draven, so I am rooting for what we can expect Shopify. From this I can't mid. take Shogun I can't take my pick back. Draven. Officially, my pick he is FlyQuest. In mid lane. I'm not flip flopping. I, I have my written game. down pick. Checking. So it is going to be press the attack for Chovy. Bloodthirster first. Right now we have the Draven stacks covering up his keystone, but I can confirm he's also gone press the attack on this, so he's going to be playing you know I, mean? I, I played. I actually played Draven mid like three times this week it already. Was into Corky the first time that In Challenger, by the well, way. Yes, so I do. It's, it's on brand, even if it does feel a little bit weird. And we know Insanity is a good AD carry player, so I do like this choice, especially when paired with the Iron. No, yep. I'm GM, but I was in a, reminder to I was in a challenger home, game. I can pull up the OP.GG if you want. Yes, I was. For Shopify if they want to keep their playoffs dreams alive. Fake God, always red this side, always gets counter pick. One where FlyQuest, they clean them out, and next week, <laughs> the entire playoff standings are already settled. I, I just want to point out that dash by Insanity's name. In terms of only LCS Draven mids, that's not a typo. It was last seen in 2013. Wait, spring. really? That's Third the LCS oh Draven mid LCS all time. Back in on terms Vulcan of game game Wait, that's, it's been yes, 11 the years? Name, Holy. The team's name was Vulcan, not the player Vulcan. Yeah. And Man Cloud actually led the LCS in kills in that summer. I can't believe they that hook. That's ancient thing. history at this point. We have Draven on live patch right now in the LCS. Quad God ain't scared of nothing, yep. though. Never forget so now here's Quad Body Cap. Easily. Easily. And then that one trick fraud so bum mid laner had a lock interest mid, on it every game. Never forget. A two two Never forget. No, I definitely think you don't. I think, I think Inspired as a jungler is very much of the mind, and I think he's empowered on this team as well to say. Just don't die to Draven <laughs> and let me kill my camps. I mean, it's if very it's easy not to die to Draven. Like, Corky, doing it with what's the, what's the win con here? He's staying Just survive. Away, as far away as possible from that Draven because that's how the but game But I will say, up. they don't, don't really have CC don't to kill, kill Draven. And keep your farm fairly close. Or he can't come, actually. Now that I, I'm looking at it, Meanwhile, in the bot lane, B -boy only connecting W. For that early really asleep. Push. Wait a minute. And doing a this might be a go to Draven game. On to Busio, forcing him to chug some pots. B Boy and Zazel are going to get this push in, but it looks like FlyQuest. I mean, they are 80, he wave. 80 heavy, so, so they will build armor. But like I said, I think that's a myth. The bottom side of the map, and that wave is still frozen. Zazel mm. and B Boy could be in trouble. They could be. I do think that Inspired is likely just going to full clear all the way to top, take that top scuttle, which is guarded by his Renekton, and then I'm expecting... Wait, Rugi they're playing the three of my champions. Draven, Ivern, Nautilus. Unless there was How could I not root for or Masu <laughs> Shopify? Dive, but it looks like Masu's relatively healthy. So pretty much just seven camp clears for both junglers. Yep. Are they trying to win me over? As you called it. Boogie just returning to that bottom crab. Inspired completes his full clear. He's already it's not a flip flop. I still want them to win. They don't have the damage to kill. Oh wait, they oh, might Bucio, actually. The oh, Busio, get your shit together, bro. For the two v two Shopify bot lane. I forgot they used heal earlier. I think he was dead anyway. Actually, that wasn't even close. Both the summoners out and actually having. Boogie there just in case something weird happened helps with the confidence, but that's pretty nope. much all on B-Boy and Zayz. So we'll pull that off. Plus, now you have Insanity getting really good poke on. Dude, why are we trading mid? Looking up right now for Shopify. And now that B-Boy and Zazel got the reset off, I wonder if Zazel will look mid, try to force a dive onto Quad. He still has flash. I knew I should have picked. If I was thinking about it, it's fine. I'm not a game one, Andy. They can think about something because at the very worst, running out mid costs you five seconds in terms of getting bot lane. So I like the fact that they're roaming here. Quad does have a biscuit, did clear that wave, is probably fine. I think what's more likely, though, is we're going to get some deep vision in the jungle. Now we'll watch this 2v2 kill once again. W is used, meaning the all in is lower for FlyQuest, but the biggest thing I mean, do we, is you what is the warp the situation? And, the auto, and at that point, you actually just get the kill with the early laning power. What Oracle is there? Gin. Is that God Wild Turtle? For I was expecting more reaction. <laughs> hey, Revan is just a. Wild Turtle coaching Shopify? Right I mean, Re Revan's been through the trenches for the past, you know, five weeks for Shopify, and they are just on the come up again, potentially. One first blood does not mean Shopify just takes this game away. Ah. So Revan is just, you know, understandably 
Hey, okay, we got the tabs early on Jin. And the graphic we just showed earlier about keeping that is an ego pink board. Holy shit! Thing, that out of my face, you saying? What that referred to is runes did he go? Of game time. I had the Has Twitch third-party app. Game, I could, I could look. Being within 1.5 percent of each other. Yeah, it's a bit of a mouthful, but it means the gold is just close the majority of the a time. Boom plating as well. Factor that in with the fact that they're two and ten, and it means there's serious problems with their mid and late game. So in close games, they are actually very bad uh, based on their standing. So that's why they're Come on, not Big Z. With just Come on, Big Z. This game is Boom! from Zazel. Looks like Mossu is now caught. Tries to dash away. Still has a barrier a flash. to work with, and he turns on the firepower right back into Zazel. It's a good trade back in health. I mean, and they're slinging and banging. Really Dude, well. when you're this, Black when you're as bad as Shopify, you literally have nothing to lose. Trade as well in lane, so Zazel just kind of dashing in and out of those bushes, making it difficult to trade. As inspired, not pushing this, and probably bails away. Yeah, he's forced hey. to drop Pryo on the grub since Insanity that has that full. Oh, she got six. Oh shit. Squad just picking up the oh wait, they're now. gonna they stay trading priority. It looks like two grubs will go over to Oh, he's dead. But he has a flash as well. He has to flash. Insanity. If he goes down, that's a terrible oh, flash. To the wall. I don't think it's maybe Nautilus is coming. It's slow. Can bail him out. He steps in front of the oh. it burns him down for the passive, but they're gonna turn on the firepower once again. They just winnable though. He lost his stacks. It's tilting, but whatever. And Whippo might be next. Flash. Still has a flash. Oh, we got to work with. He's stuck over the wall. Gets an empowered call of the meek, but Sazel okay, wait, him back Lilia? over. Hooks him in and. Boogie picks up the kill. Oh, shit. Big play at the end of the day for Shopify because they walk out of this one with a two kill advantage. I did like the look from an Shopify. Trying Shopify. To take the Shopify. Stacks away from Draven. Getting a kill is going to cut those in half. So they were successful in that. Stacks are a myth. But the fine. thing that turned it as this fight continues. I just flashed the fact that Zazel ran out mid again and eventually gave them the number advantage. So Inspired lands everything, lands the flash Q, lands the E, which eventually ticks him down. But then because Zazel is here, it allows them to slowly close. take down Whipple as well. Meaning both I thought it was 35%. It got changed. And the his Q got nerfed and they reduced his staff. His extends. stack's losing. With Insanity decelerated, he's going to have to work those adoration stacks oh, yeah, back up. But as you already mentioned, the power has now swung into the Plus, top side of Plus, now Corky has flash. I literally looked at three-man mid. Is, has a little bit of weight on his shoulders. He now has to carry this advantage where he has... He knows that Buipo doesn't have teleport. He doesn't have flash. And Boogie's already here just to assist in this hover. Because Fake God is trying to push this wave in. Whippo will look to challenge. He slice back away. And Boogie's gonna summon Daisy, and Whippo might be in trouble. Oh, he want to kill him. Yeah, Dominus is not back up yet. He goes Megan. He slams him. And oh, Fake God picks up another quest, one bro. in this game. Really nicely baited there by Fake God. And Boogie. Dude, I wanted to pick him because I think Spotify. I, you guys couldn't see it. They'll have a tip of my tongue. Early shoves in the or way Shopify. I just had a feeling. I'm not a one-game Andy. I'm just saying. that Whippo would go aggressive and try and punish. We saw a similar situation multiple times in the C9 TL series with Thanatos where, like, you need to break the freeze, so sometimes you're just going to do it even if your jungler's not there. But Fake God did Game's actually not over. have True. Game's not over. Game's not over. So Game's not over. Game's not over. Game's not over. did a really nice job of, of getting the kill and now having two kills on Fake God. And this is just another mark of why Boogie has been so vital for Shopify and mm. being able to push their leads when he sees them. Because as soon as he recognizes there is a top lane I don't ever think that accelerated that further, he comes to top side immediately, Rek willing to sack any of his resources that he could be getting for himself on the Ivern. And ensures that now Fake God 2-0-1 up on the Renekton. Insanity has Boogie covering him as well. Just doing a great job. There's, of now there's no lane swaps? True. Through the camps. True. To show that even on the brand, last weekend that he was willing to sack all these resources yeah. and Boogie is playing a champion that leans into it even harder. Absolutely. When Shopify Yeah, I mean, Nar has <laughs> two kills, abs, when they were and fade plus fleet. He, how do you ever Tenio. touch him? It wasn't like he was supposed to fix Orky all did get their problems, he might die here. But it was the change that they could it make. Not good other lane give swapping, thank God for yep. <laughs> And even if there's other things not going well with their late game, Boogie's so sacrificial in the early game that it helps out. And fake God does a nice job just hopping away from this delayed lane swap. They have two grubs. Quest. They're getting the so dragon. All is well at they the have bad tempo on this reset. Shopify. As you called it out, Shopify pick up the first dragon of the game. No contest from the side of FlyQuest. 
Busio and Masu are now going to be challenging Fate God on the top side in the 2v1. We'll see what FlyQuest continues to do in terms of map play. Big Raven damage. Big. Oh, you're sure cooking him, bro. Oh, big damage. Here. And they have a chance to go and get some deep vision now in the red corner since this. they have a majority of their team on that side of the map. They do. Zazel also moving top lane here to help Fake God get back to his turret. They do lose one. Raven, point. such a good champion. Wow. Off, so Masu can do a lot of damage to those turrets early. Inspired also having a chance to get to four grubs here. That's are you so boring, man? Point. He Who is. Would love to come in and contest. I wonder why people don't ban him though. I. So I don't think you ban him on blue so side because you either get Corky get or Ziri if you don't ban Z Corky Ziri. Point. So for instance, if this game, a lot of map pressure here. They do that while they're getting free hits. Spotify the bans Corky, they just lock in Ziri yeah. instead. And for FlyQuest too, inspired big note here has already finished his Leandri's tournament. It's a really strong item spike for Lilia. The next time they find an opportunity to skirmish. It's going to be even more lethal and Shopify. I keep saying Spotify. Shopify, Shopify God damn it. How much of the fight they can actually take because that Lil, uh, Lilia passive combined with Leandri's burn passive just really mm -hmm. catches. Put that scream down. I can't. I can't. The next big objective isn't for a while, though. Two minutes, 30 seconds for Rift Herald. Three minutes, 45 seconds for Drake. And this type of swap, swap back, I think is where FlyQuest is going to look to Nothing. try and find some advantages since they don't actually have great ways of forcing when they go Lucian Nami. That's more of a combo that wants to try and take over mid lane. It's okay, Draven. If you get 20 lane, items, you'll be useful. Don't quite have the Nami Worst champion in league. Yet. Corky versus Draven in the top lane at this point in the game is just trading farm. So Inspired is, I think, just going to keep trying to farm away and maybe get some of these picks in the side lane. Oh. Whippo is waiting for Fake God right now. And it's now. a great trap a set up by Whippo already with the he Dominus. The Lilting Lullaby is going to put Fake God to sleep. And he goes uh -oh. mini, so he doesn't have the extra resistances. Easy, Leah got it. Clean I think that's way Fox. better. Get the bounty as well. And the damage and gold will keep coming in for Inspired as he is 2-0 with a 100 CS on that Lilia. That's exactly where we expected FlyQuest to maybe be able to make it back into this game because... Shopify, no, it's way better that's on been one Lilia. Of their I all year is being able to overall play the map and push advantages. They're going to try something here, though. They're trying to prep a dive on Busio and Quad. Oh! You know, the Flybot lane duo has both songs available. B Boy, I think this works. Masu, but the Raven took it to Stacks. Looks like he ult, he ult, 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 ult. He one shot Nami. He's going to flash. How many Stacks? How many Stacks? Quad makes it out alive. As Let's go. Shopify will be content in picking up sushi from Busio. The adoration has been cashed in by Insanity. Clutching up with that ultimate, an extra plus 633 on the gold in that last fight. So it was God a damn. Bit with his death, the amount of gold he'd be able to get, but they pull it off. And let's watch it one more time. Daisy flies in. You want that taking the early turret aggro. It does switch to Boogie pretty early, but it ends up being fine. And then Let the well. fade away with the alt. I think right there's the a world where they get to. Also hitting quad after it finished the Nami off. Is a well executed 2v3 dive, especially considering the payoff did go correctly to Draven. And they also burned quads flash. So now that is another time that Shopify can look to play for. Zazel point and click and flash. will always be reliable in sending those picks up for Shopify. FlyQuest now going to have to keep that in mind. As we get ready for the next set one shot, Nami from half, half health, just because his ult adds seconds, that, that the third damage. Dragon of the game, or second his ult adds say, his stacks to the damage. And with how many stacks he has, how much bonus damage he does? For Zod, that is a power spike for Shopify. Or no, if they're at if that they level, up getting a excuse me, if they have that much health left, they're executed. So insanity, I believe. stacking up that bloodthirster like shield on the wave will work really well with moving down to that Rift Herald. The danger, of course, is. If Masu Busio can take over this mid lane against B Boy, since Zazel's like so, basically, when you have this two v two in the mid lane, if Zazel is there to how you don't know, I just said engaged, it. I just said how it is. From just bullying, but Plus, I'm not a one trick so nowadays. Get control of the river. The B Boy ended up getting poked out, and now Quad is the one who can start this Ripter. Yep. Booby being chunked out. It's harder for him to safely join the fight. Inspired and Quad are going to turn on to Insanity. He still has a flash available. He gets put to sleep. The redemption does it's not come in champ. time. So Inspired this is what I was talking about. So Ziri, Corky, Ezreal, Lucian, all those mid Trist even, even though she's bad, don't ever die there. Easily. And they don't die there. where Draven the died the first time. It's, it's actually why he not as good as them, I say. Of Inspired well enough. That really is definitely going to be a problem. And I, it's so pivotal for FlyQuest.
going into this matchup as well because they know make Draven's that W a so blink that resets every time he catches that axis. Inspired is Think about how fun that'd be. On oh my god. Like, hey, I'm one of the best junglers in the LCS and I have been for quite some time. And he's making a payoff with all the resources going into him so far. Absolutely. It's, it's been such a weird split for FlyQuest, honestly, because they were the second place team in spring. They were favorites going into final. And they didn't have great showings at MSI because they didn't make it through the play-in. And then who? once they made the like roster the change, the hype just kind of died for them. But they're in a position now e, where much. they control the route to second. Yep. Based on the results of the Team Liquid Cloud9 game and the fact that FlyQuest plays Cloud9 next week, if FlyQuest wins... I'm not broken Draven to be two, if they release in the current three, year, that's every champ. Wins two of three they also have two dragons. So that's every champ, bro. Bottom. Like, Balance we again, talked about it. If Blitzcrank was released right now, 100% Blitzcrank W would be like Ezreal E. 100%. Really? Blitzcrank has a self slow that would never exist. Very under the radar so far in summer. And I really like you mentioning that FlyQuest have been kind of just under talked for the remainder yeah. of the split with only the big hype. Hang on. Yeah, Whippo I, might be caught trying to yo. engage on to Zazel. Pops the dominance already. Masu is forced out of the fight thanks to the death charge. I don't think they do the any damage here. With Not enough damage. Here comes the tidal wave to break up oh, the fight. Oh, but Jin's shooting. He's dealing. Draven with the ult. Oh, they got Nami with this there. Oh, shit. To the wall. Busio is gone. And Shopify. Fake God's Nar. From the fight. So red side warrior, fake god. This guy won't ever lose the game on red side, by the way. The entire top side of Boogie's jungle, and then also Quad getting two thirds of that top lane turret. It's gonna be a battle for Shopify because even with those big plays, they're still kind of down in. Uh, yes, if uh, uh, I also mentioned this point about Ivern early. If Ivern Such ever falls play, behind, he can't farm his own jungle. That's kind of what's happening this game because he takes too long to get camps. There's still no objectives to play for in the next couple of minutes. Baron spawning 240, four minutes on the third dragon of the game. Shopify have already stacked up the first two, so they yeah. have a legitimate soul point win condition yeah. if they can keep this up. Yeah, yep. it's going to be very important to control the Drake. Let's go better than Airy. Some Ivers go it. I don't know. I don't like what it. has. I'm old school, bro. What can I say? About their play this game, which is side lane awareness yep. and allowing Inspire to pick up a few of these early kills. He is the gold difference in this game, actually. 900 gold advantage for the Lilia and only a 1,000 gold advantage for FlyQuest as a whole. So this is taking up space. Just really strong later. Not far ahead unless Inspire can pull off a big play with his Zone oh, big auto good. damage. Yeah. I, I, Actually, you, you'd have to auto him 8,000 times, Draven. Lilias go for, like, Rift Maker second, just mm. to increase your Omni Vamp and your damage over time. But Inspire recognizes that he's the only one with the bounty, and he has to do everything he can to protect it against some of the higher physical damage members from the side of Shopify, since they okay, really they are execute. only AD champions. So with the Zonians, oh. he gives him playmaking Woo! and protection against all that AD sources. I love the fact that he rolled the Herald into the turret there for the extra little bit of damage. They don't quite get the turret, but they're going to be able to step up and get it any It's second. so close. 49 HP. Uh, hello, my emergence ruined. Why did I just see the <laughs> Observer's <laughs> Cursor? The Lilia play. <gasps> my immersion <laughs> Observer! Depending on the team comp even. Like, oh, I'm freaking out! If it was 3 and 0 or 0 and 0, uh, it's how he sees them winning this game. Yeah. You look at Shopify's team, and you say, Draven Jin are kind of all the damage. But there's no cleanse, and the Kales so is not built by Boogie. So if Draven's he can so just bad. get he's not doing any damage. I on promise these carries, not. someone else on his team is going to be able to finish. So he's kind of tailored his entire build towards this all-in Flash Q, R, Stopwatch style. Whereas I think if they were in a bit more of a full poke scenario, then he actually could have gone sure. with one of the and more Six poke items? Dude, it's just being aware of his win conditions for hard, this particular man. state. Also, th this has to be the for least impactful Lucian Nami I've ever seen. Here, it does Aaron look like, though, this guy did go the Essence Reaver seconds. build that like I was West talking about last game. But this guy prefers Essence Reaver first. I still... Position. Dude, that, it's just the rapid fire second. No I feel like the lazy so much. Inspired was looking for that swirling seed over the wall. But thankfully for Insanity, Zazel yeah. and Boogie are there to support. But, like, it's good yeah, with so Nami if, yes, if you're going to get the pick. But, bro... They had the pro play. Are you going to? Are they go new? I'm wave, not sure they are. Go back to base and they are, but hopefully complete his infinity edge. He has all the components in. He's 
I think he's just a little bit short of this total I, gold right maybe now. Maybe it's the movement Infinity speed from Rapid Fire. Because uh, it's really about this Hex Tech Drake that's going to be So it lets you stall you going your boots? Ah, that kind of makes sense. And actually, that kind of makes sense. Yeah. Is the I movement mean, speed I, from the rapid so fire plus the attack speed from I've the rapid fire lets you sit on uh, magical uh, footwear for longer? Players, because it's almost like you already have Zerks. So thus, you're saving 800 gold, but getting... Ah, I bet that's what it is. I bet that's what it is. that loss against energy, they have felt how much this team I bet has that's what it is. elevated since then. That makes and sense, actually. I know actually. so many pros have talked, you know, great things about Shopify, saying like, hey, considering that they've only had one series win in this entire split, they're still a team that you shouldn't disrespect. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what FlyQuest are going to have to be super cognizant of going into this, what I believe is going to be a fight over this third dragon of the game. But 2.5k to get integral with the stats? No, you're still getting the stats quest, for the item. Those plays on the back yeah. line, as you mentioned, this lets you spend well, eight, the like one, the one problem here is they don't have the gold moves. in so a different Ripple's way. already pushed up bot lane, and Lucian Nami's in mid lane. So it means they have to approach from this spot. And I think being the team that starts this well, cool. when you can get poked by Corky Lilia is very dangerous. Right, Draven's so two by, items. He did go IE. Dude, this, I've been liking really BT LDR and the redemption control of the Hyvern. LDR IE. Let's and see. Zazel Here we go. Up, inspired. He's forced to right, pop the early zone. Hour He's early. But Zazel is chunked to below 50% HP. The They're rockets, just the ran out. I, Everything is poking Shopify out of the dragon yeah. pit. And Whippo now has control. And that's the difficulty. Inspired did burn the stopwatch, but took <sighs> no damage. And he might even be going in for the kill here on the Nautilus. Two man sleep. Zazel's in trouble. Ken flash. Okay, hey, he went he forward. Does it at the last second, but he oh, he trolled. The, the Masui guy trolled. Good pulling up. He actually gets that off. Whippo's way out over Yes, yeah, flash though. He's taking a shit. Okay, they got another root. I mean, no damage. No damage. No damage. Jin's the damage. Jin's the damage. Image. Really line, throws flash he's doing for flash he can to endure and hold that front but Shopify find no members other than Masu but it looks like FlyQuest are still going to be strong oh, enough to fight get for out this of dragon what do you guys it's going to be an interesting fight because Fake God can teleport back in and then be a little bit stronger as a team since Zazel is stronger they have all flashes or, this has it, got to be that, losing because of who's alive they're going yeah. to Drake Fake God just picked up a Steric Skage. We'll see how much value he can get out of the they end. They had flashes. That was from a losing. Blocked. Unless so we get a good backline. Nautilus is coming. Why has no flash? Maybe it's not losing this delay. Oh, the lock up from Shopify. As they will snag up a straggler. Oh! God is showing up huge. Oh! He gets a triple. Fake God is saving this game for Shopify. Oh, shit. The long con. The crowd's chanting Fake God. Fake God chance in the LCS studio as he's trying to keep shop. Oh, shit. Season that was actually pretty well so played. This is completely over yet. So this is the very beginning of this fight. Okay, so they... Yeah, this to is way soon. ...onto Lilia, and they end up getting substantial... This Fake God run, run your pockets in the top lane? Point, he gets counterpick every game, and I play Alawi. No, he's bad compared to me. They get a little bit overambitious, and I think we're going to have to go back to live... As Shopify is still trying to get that soul point Drake, they've started it up. You call it a jet. Shopify on the Drake. Teleport oh, wow, is going in for Dragon Quest to see if they can challenge. Inspire does not have flash, and it doesn't look like there's a blast coming for him to get in over the pit. That is the third dragon of the game. Secured to get top tower, by though. Shopify Rebellion. Yeah, man. It's it's happening. There were also thoughts about Shopify in terms what is of the this? stress related to this team, that they're actually a lot better than their record would indicate. Yeah. Because they had such a slow start to the split. And here's just a collection of quotes from Emily, Korja, J. Masu, who he all just saying that, and this was before a bunch of teams had two wins, by the way. Yeah. It's, hey, right now, I'm, it's I'm either happy for you, so I'm sorry they happened. I ain't reading all that. Had a lot of I ain't reading all that. So you can see at least behind the scenes, people are respecting this team. And the weird thing about this game is even though they, they will win, I think, if they get Drake Soul, I don't, it's going to be still hard for them to get Drake Soul because even after winning that fight, even after having a 7 kill Nar, they're still down in tempo. They lost their tier 2 top turret, their two turrets down. Yes, but I like that it's fight. They, they knew they had flash. It's like Nar strength. Yeah. They're going to slow play it. And for FlyQuest, one saving grace is that Inspired did not drop his bounty in that fight. He did everything that he could to get the initiation, the follow up, and the damage on Draven the Shopify, is so and he failed at the piece piece last shit. possible no. moment. So still 4-0 and 1. The Zonias will be available once again in the next fight. But he is a majority of the gold advantage for FlyQuest at the moment. For Shopify, if they're able to find Inspired, who is now down to Flash for the next couple of minutes, because Hourglass is hard. That, 
what sends Shopify over that marker. And this is the weird quirk about League of Legends. Uh, Fake God's 13 gold ahead of Whippo. He's seven and one. Damn. And Renekton is zero and three. <laughs> wait, what? So the reason and they're equal is because Whippo. Holy shit! A lot wait, Fake God has seven yeah. kills so, on Renekton and is Fake only is, uh, is down 30 as, gold. He's a little bit Fake He has eight right KP. Renekton has two. He's actually not that he's rich. He's down four. What the? The weird quirk yeah. of the game. He's having a great game. He's made huge contributions in these fights. But just the way that FlyQuest has played the map has actually no made the zero through an Ecton as strong as the seven and one knock. It's the early mid game sacrifices that Fake God made to join the team and pick up some of those early kills and those winning team fights. Whereas For your Fly picture in this game, I have FlyQuest 2 0. And Whippo, just a benefactor off of the side lane assignments. As Shopify now are fighting for control of mid lane. Zazel, oh, first okay. snag on the Whippo. But Not Shopify the picked Shopify three of my really champions I play, so I'm up Shopify to win. Getting pelted with poke from the side of FlyQuest. The calling yeah. opens up, Zazel Jesus. might go down. He flashes to the safety of Boogie, but he's gonna be forced to recall. And this is how FlyQuest can win. They just have to keep playing slow and patient. If they get over aggressive like they did in that Drake fight, that's where things can get bad because the poke of Corky, Lucian start and this. Lilia is just overwhelming. It will force Zazel to hard engage, but he's just this Warmog's Nautilus. He would die fairly quickly, or Fake God has to find some ridiculous flank while he has Meganar. So you can see they're just slowly playing out these waves, and I, I, I think they're hoping actually that they just get a kill from this poke. If not, I mean, Ivern hits a Q from, from, from Bush's blind, yeah, Fly like Quest that, also almost threw like that. The ultimate from Boost, but it's on like Corky and then Nautilus ult, Nautilus combos. Did not find anything, not even a summoner burn from the mid laner of Shopify Rebellion. He will take a base, might have a good item purchase uh, for this upcoming dragon spawning in a minute and 30. It is sole point for no, Shopify, and because see, I think, not able to find dude, I, I, I to if you play it, Shopify and burn the BT Saren, into it LDR, like I swear to God, feels better, even if they don't have any armor, than BT into yeah, IE on Draven. Flip that Baron, we have 10 flashes. Like, I think BT so into IE is not good. Up at the moment, so I think we're going to see a pretty big BT, draw. LDR, However, IE. FlyQuest is trying to get ahead of the play. They're, they're the ones that are... Even really after the LDR nerf, well, oh, yeah. I think it might be worth going more to reminder, to honest. Respond, which then has the cyclical effect. I don't know, it feels good. The first ones back. Armor pin second feels good. When they really need to as well. So I think we're going to be in exactly the same situation we were in that last Drake where we're likely going to have this bot lane pushed up by the Renekton. We have Lucian Nami on mid early. And it means the only entrance from Shopify is going to be some weird meandering spot through here and they're just going to have to somehow not get poked too hard while they do the strike. It's going to be really tough for them to make anything happen and actually get this soul. True. It all comes down to sheer willpower and grit from Shopify Rebellion. <laughs> I'm, not, uh, I'm not sure it comes to willpower and, gr and grit. Zone. It's a video like game. Inspired is green right <laughs> now. He either wants level 16 or an extra item. Um... Because he full cleared his whole jungle before riding. Blood, sweat, 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 and tears. Like this is their final. Like, I don't know about that. I think we use those words wrong. Big God is trying to build up that fury and rage as fast as possible. He's got it nearly at 99. <laughs> uh, we'll see if it gets popped too early. He's about to go mega. So now Shopify have to force. Right, here we go. So it's that Fake God can get use out of it. Out of Fake God. Only Flourish does mega. connect on the root. But FlyQuest are keeping their distance. And their These bushes are annoying. Shopify just has to hit. If they stay oh, long, they get poked the hourglass yep. is silly. He does not. He does not believe that he can kill him. It is right. Through one, Masu takes out the first one in Zazel. Boogie still in the pit, trying to work out right, the strategy, but he's just an yeah, iron. He's not going to be able to burn down anytime soon. Boogie's oh, he doesn't have flash. He doesn't have flash oh my god, anymore. the game's over. He gets blisted by Masu, and now the rest of Shopify are on the run. Oh, Flyquest don't even Raven. care about the this dragon. They're looking for the kills that could potentially end this game off of one point. His fire flashes in. Lilting lullaby onto the final member of Shopify. B boy goes. Well, and it's there was some bright spots. GG. And Rafa, it's over. They have a wave. They have five dead. It was a five for zero. FlyQuest just take the first game. It doesn't matter if you yeah. sack every single dragon in the game. Gotta go AP mid. Only need but you can't save Corky. To find the game winning. Is there really no AP that can play into Corky? Like Azir? Wave. Get another E off. He can't. <laughs> It's over. Not like, a like are we forced to just tried, constantly go AD against Corky? Able to like, why are we not Shopify picking other Flight things? We'll find the first game win of the series. That escalated quickly. I'm pretty sure that was a 30-minute 
game. Job of Five did not have enough sheer willpower. Yeah, they didn't have enough willpower or grit. Thousand gold. They don't take a single Drake, as you mentioned. But we did notice some worrying signs in the game when there's as a your ult countered by Corky W. Okay, there has to be a mage that the wins. The is the richest guy in the game. Like, that why are we just like handshaking these eighty mids? Yeah, there's gonna be a lot of things that Shopify and will have I mean, to review again, going into the second If you're blue side, you can get whatever you want to. You can go Ziri or Corky. It's like before, if you're blue there side, you go Trist or you Corky. Win a trip to World so if you ban Corky, you gotta ban Trist, and you're wasting two ban. It's like not so possible. Use your MasterCard to make a purchase from the Incline store and save. I think I think Lucian mid's good. Be entered for a chance so it's like, dude, with that, we're it has to, to be some back, way out of this hellhole that just people aren't playing. Hello, and you're telling me out of the 170 champions, I'm here to one v one my ADC. Today we have chosen Azir versus Azir. There's no nobody that beats Corky. I play off rule and Soliki, mostly. Wait, if you play off roll and solo queue, who's the better mid laner between the two of you? I don't know. I have support mechanics, so probably Masio. Busio has really good mechanics. So. Busio used to be a mid main. Busio used to be a Katarina one trick. I hated that. I'm copying runes by that. I'm literally looking at the big screen. He used to play yeah, only Katarina, right and I thought I he know. sucked. No, ass. Ass. Those are the two options. I'm looking. Lagging. Flash on F, of course. F for flash. There's another yeah. option. Yeah. We're on 60 hertz. Yeah. Already hearing the excuses, okay. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, of course, I'm standing up on 60 hertz. <laughs> the ping? What's the ping? Control F. Control F? A 200. Oh, nice. We're in Amsterdam. Let's go. Hey, let's just play on 200, it's okay. Bro, do you see what my character is doing? You don't have doing? to artificially Look. do it. <laughs> damn, these devs kind of... Wow. Production kind of fucked with this, huh? Interesting settings, bro. I can't even... Holy <laughs> playing a 1v1 on 200 ping. I don't have shift W, so I can't like, oh no. I don't have indicators. Oh god. Wait, hold on, hold on. That's gonna take a while. I don't know how to do that. Let me yet, one sec. I'm not that smart. <laughs> Which one is it? Is it normal cast? I think it's called normal cast. Hey, Masu, don't Minions hit me. are coming, bro. Okay. Hit him, hit him. All right, I have it bound. It's over for you. Oh. 80 versus oh, support. My screen froze. Hello? <laughs> hit him. Yo. Production. Uh, these are the yeah, PCs yeah, you yeah. gave him? Oh, <laughs> oh. Yo, I can't Oh, even, you're like, getting spaced, Brooklyn. One. I am getting spaced. Why are they playing a 200 ping? Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> On 60 hertz monitors. Oh. Monster level 2. Oh. Oh. High ping champion? I'm actually not sure. Boom. Oh, they chose the wrong server? Ah, uh, I like can't even process what's going on. Wait, what server? Wait, that's like, that's like Q server. Q Zin Zhao? Hey, chill. Maybe it's not too bad. Me and Masu both have like 7 CS. Hey, how are you losing these trades, Busio? I'm on 200 ping, Raz. You want to come play? He's on 200 <laughs> ping, too. <laughs> yeah, but I'm a support. <laughs> I'm already sent home. My best bet is Masu dives me. So I that's like a certified you. Masu play. So like. I will be diving you. Where's my jungler? Whoa, what are you doing, bro? Come on. Oh. OK. I'm dead. Okay. Oh. GG. GG. That was great. I loved my experience. I love my ping, yeah. Masu probably it, was, it was actively close. playing Azir like last two years ago. Okay, two years ago. <laughs> oh, it's maybe, close. maybe it's winnable for me. GG. Good GG. Good game. Good game. Thank you guys so much for watching. That was a thrilling 1v1, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. <laughs> Did. Look what I, can't I say just anything. made. The perfect pearl. Not too bad, but check this out. Okay, I gotta, yo, guys. Whoa, a true Venus clam. Red Bull gives you wings. Let's try, Busio. Will you sub up already? What do you mean? Oh, I think the segment was fine. I think they were probably on a time crunch, a time limit, so they couldn't remake all that stuff. And they couldn't do their sums, and they couldn't do the runes. They were on 100 ping.
I still have the sub goal, I just don't have it active during the first streaming portion. Who won? Uh, uh, Team Liquid won the first series against Cloud9, and then FlyQuest is up 1-0. And should I buy Aquafina? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Tell me how delicious Aquafina is. I mean, Aquafina is a, you know, Thirst quencher. When I'm thirsty, I drink that. Team Liquid legit? I don't know. I feel like Cloud9, if Cloud9 gets their shit together and like comes together as a team and plays more coordinated, maybe. Because Team Liquid does make a lot of mistakes. Like, Corda J kind of runs it down randomly. That can for sure be punished. I think Team Liquid does a little bit of shady shit though with their lane swaps. I think they're so much better at lane swapping than everybody else. Even though I think it's really cringe, I think it worked. <laughs> Vibration, shut up, man. to LCS, we are getting ready for our second game between FlyQuest and Shopify. And if you missed it, then FlyQuest will probably not be surprising to have won that game, but the manner that they did it against Shopify was X what was truly impressive. X it really Wait, this was. Guy's it was such a this? This name? Is there slow X Mithy? feeling game, almost a, not a very exciting, confidence inspiring type of win. For FlyQuest because they were down five kills to ten. Just I wonder point. where I got the X from. And then literally forty-five seconds the later they killed the enemy Nexus. So it just kind of happened like that. Uh, a couple things to note going into this final game is if FlyQuest wins this series and then they beat Cloud9 next week, they would be top two and guarantee themselves a playoff buy through the first round. But I think the most oh. pressing Wait, so this actually this matters for FlyQuest because they play C9 and next even week. Even though they've looked a lot better since Boots and then came winner of that in, is top two first round by their overall game score is so bad. I don't get to play ads. Yes, guys, reminder: I'm about to play ads. I have to play the ads. If I don't, you will get them in a game. I'm sorry. Sub up if you don't so want to see it, or shut the fuck up if you do want to see it. Goodbye. To keep their tiebreaker hopes alive for top six. Pressure's on. Yep. Now, for Shopify, they know they have to lock in more than ever now as FlyQuest Aurora in band. this draft phase, continuing some of the same bands as from the previous game. Brand being taken away from Boogie as he was so instrumental. Good luck getting past my layered ad block. Weekend. Oh my god, Shopify bro. You're so, like, tech savvy. Don't change Look at you. You have ad block, you tech savvy freak. Calissa, You're so cool and, and probably a trade of the Aurora smart. They were red side Wrong. Last time. Look at that guy. That they're ad block. For blue side this time around. Are they banned Leona? What does what that mean? Priority? And it's the First Ash. pick Ash. That means Brom's gonna come. Absolutely wanting to get early lane prio bot lane. It was relatively successful for them last game. With the Jin Nautilus, they were able to get a 2v2 kill onto Masu Busio, so can't hate on an early pick Ash for B-Boy. FlyQuest, what is their response? 
Guys, let's swap it. Switch it up. Again. Shopify did have the counter pick. I mean, FlyQuest has to win. So I understand why they're sweating. Quite massive in a lot of fights. But can we not give him Corky as well, please? were able to still play the map severely better than Shopify allowed Quipo to still stay relevant throughout the game. And for Shopify, I'm curious if they're going to actually run the Ivern back. Because while, yes, no, it plays into what Boogie needs else. to do for the team, support and facilitate mm. the rest of them, it does make him a non-damage factor because your only job is just providing heals and shields to the rest of the team. It does. It's going to be a difficult choice for them here. They have a little bit more CC uh, already with the Ash hard engage on the Ash arrow, but the Lily was effective for inspired engage. They have Ash kind instead of, of Jin. Shopify to flip the script and try something a little bit different. Jerry's up, though, if they pick Corky Grand here. Ban, I think he's going to pick good it. Good as usual, as you pointed out. The Ash was the other blue side nope. ban in game Let one by FlyQuest, which is why they've taken it. And pretty much they're going to go Corky. They're going to ban Ziri. Uh, to game one. Blah, so in game one, blah, blah, Shopify blah. picked Ivern Nar Nautilus. Here they have yep, Ash there's the Corky. Nautilus, now they're going to so ban Ziri. Uh, like, bro, uh, have some fun a little bit. Oh, my God, you're playing Shopify. Shopify, it's a core... It's the with same. engage, strong engage from Anziri, come champion. on. The arrow and the death charge will always at least guarantee someone is going to die or someone is going to be forced to burn summoner spells. <laughs> so for FlyQuest now, they did this Fuck last you, time around Quest. in game one. They Probably left. Picks up Guys, let's pick the, the sweatiest draft, imaginable draft against one of the worst teams in the league. I wonder if that's going to change. Oh, you, they're going to go for a run back of the same draft. Well, it's going to depend on these four or five bands. So, Zeri, Varus, Renata, and Misfortune were all banned in this stage of game one, even though the I might teams just were give on Ziri. I don't know sides. if it's It's already changed a little bit with the Zyra ban. I mean, they need AP. The jungle hasn't been locked in yet. So, FlyQuest is likely going to target with jungle bands, and Shopify is going to be just firing off AD bands at the moment. But FlyQuest is very comfortable, I feel like, right now. They have exactly the three topside champions that they won game one with, even though they probably feel like they, they didn't play that well. Or not? And I mean, unless that Lucian Nami get disrupted, I think they're probably just going to pick it again. Probably. And for FlyQuest, there wasn't any trouble of needing someone else to face check from the bottom side of the map. Yeah, they banned Ivern. I think that's Whippo better for Shopify. So just in, and it. even then, you can always check those bushes with the amount of poke that they were boasting on game one draft. Shopify down to their last ban. FlyQuest, even though that we on the casting desk might have felt that Ivern was not as fulfilling for Boogie as it could have been as a damage source. FlyQuest are still respecting its power. Got an expensive so watch. Shopify now Any watch are going to take away that Nami, recognizing that they might have gone for the Lucian Nami again. That's a good ban, I think. This does also mean, though, Misfortune, Varus, Zeri, all available. Varus, the strongest laner of the three, Rolex. I believe. And also will still give them a lot of pokes so they can play a very similar macro style that they did in game one if they lock in the Varus. So not surprising I mean, and then they get if last they end up locking support. Like it says it matters, I already picked Nautilus. And so it gives you a nice form of lockdown. It's not guaranteed, but if you do That'd land that chain of corruptions, Tagged along the side. Fucking Brom, bro. Stop it. Just go Brom. Wait, no, there's support already picked. I keep forgetting. There is now stronger so pick potential for FlyQuest. And now with the support counter pick going all the way down to Busio. I'm curious if he'll game one FlyQuest. Or something I mean, it was like close. You strong forms of engage since the Nautilus is already taken away. Yeah. The Leona was banned by them. And Shopify are going with the Talia. I don't think we've seen. Talia in quite some time, so and this could champ. technically be a lot of these high low junglers win. love it playing could. Talia. Depends on what they lock here, probably not. So that's going to be Lucian mid Talia jungle. Lucian mid's good, fairly standard, Especially even if we don't queue. see a huge amount of Lucian Talia now. The only really good setup they have for the Talia is the Nautilus and bot lane, but at least they have damage spread across their jungler and AD carry. And maybe Boogie can keep up with the clear speed of Lilia. But in terms of actually landing one, I think. skill I think shots and Lilia in the open field, it's going to give Inspired a lot of tools to dance around. Yeah. And FlyQuest have gone with powerful yeah, engage as over. their last option. Rel. The Rel locked in for Busio. So now there is a confident go button from the bottom side of the map. Busio can always flash in, set up that Magnus Storm crash down combo. And it gives well, yeah, what if viewers to operate could choose like in a like a, like a poll really does. choose Again, like backs completely one band per for team. Shopify Rebellion. If they lose this game, they are eliminated from playoffs.
If FlyQuest win this game, then they will be one series away from a top two seed because they play Cloud9 next week in the final week of the LCS regular season. Yep. Confidence is not that high for Shopify because a lot went well for them in that game one and they still lost and the core of the FlyQuest team comp is still there. It's inspired on Lilia, Whip on Renekton and Quad on Quad. I mean, they had a so jungle that can if know, Shopify do things. can step up when they have to and take a win. Clutch factors. I personally, I think this Maybe is a wrap. For Shopify are gonna be I think, uh, I think it's a wrap. For them. It's what they have to hope for. It's gonna be more I honestly got don't think this is gonna be competitive to at all. Turn this one around. Shopify are gonna have to really dig deep and catch FlyQuest by surprise. Play a game that FlyQuest is completely unfamiliar with at this moment. Whereas FlyQuest, I mean, for them, game one, even if kind of like the TL versus C9 standard, second game. Usually showing here. Maybe I'm the wrong. LCS, their sights are clearly set on other matters at the moment. They are making sure to treat respect with Shopify when they needed to, but it still seems like they're just way better than them in every level. FlyQuest definitely able to win games even when everything doesn't go well for them. I don't like how they don't show like the early levels now. Or, like, Fans have been great all day. It's been a great day of LCS. The first series delivered Team Liquid versus Cloud9. Now, just, you know, part of me is pulling for Shopify here. I like the Boogie story coming back in and maybe it's happening. Swap? They did spot Whippo just now. Whippo, I think, thinks he was in there free. Now he's running away. Should be able to get out. Smack him, thank God. Yeah. And Whippo does scale the slice and dice just to make sure he doesn't get I see what's up, Koo. down in that left flank. All right. They did place a ward in the blue buff quadrant, so they'll have eyes on We're going to start blue, blue path bot. We're going to start raptors. And so with Talia jungle, this is something that we saw a lot of, yeah. I want to say, Towards the early so, spring. So Lucian mid is very scrappy and solo queue. Very. As a combo. I think but it's really good. Rank recently, two and rank even three the both are piss smurfing on it. That solo came queue. into play for, for Like in a 1v9 almost every Talia game. Talia got a ton of jungle monster damage nerfs because they recognized that the Faded Ashes was so good. strong as an item and yeah. they wanted to keep Talia's power level low. Yeah, absolutely. It's been a pretty even split amongst jungle and mid lane uh, throughout the, the split as of now. Um, the last match I see on record was closer well, actually, yeah, in the LCK. The rank two is DRX. He actually won with it. Quid. Uh, but that was mid lane. So it wasn't a jungle. No, it's play. quid. Last jungle we one talk was about this NIP versus LGD in the LPL on uh, the 30th Free of July fraud. against Lilia. So there is a little bit of precedent for what's happening. And Busio really low. Wait, but Busio is in deep Dead. trouble. The ignite. That's first blonde going over to B Void once again. Wait, two happened? games out of two. Wait, I this like time is so set? early. It's in the multi lane cam for B Boy and Zazel. Just another hook burns the heel as well. Shopify coming out strong. I mean, one of the strengths for Shopify Wait, has what just always happened? been B Boy and Zazel as a duo lane uh, synergy. We saw in Spring Split, even when Shopify were trading some games here and trading some games there, B Boy was a constant. All right, let's see. Reliable factor in some of those wins. I mean, let's get this in the full screen. It's pretty straightforward here. Zazel just tags him with the auto attack, is able to hold really? his hook the entire That's time. They don't even need to get the level two. They just got enough free hits down onto Busio. Die at level uh, one. A sneaky like level one kill there by B-Boy and Zazel. Yeah, it just seemed like a disrespect of the, the Ash for power. His Heart Seeker Lucian skin yeah. does just sometimes less those damage, by the way. Up and the Hail of Blades. Gets that quick flurry of auto attacks, and then it's, it's like the the, the soccer the, mistake, the, the soccer um, Lucian time, skin. It does so less damage, especially well from high noon. done there by Shopify, but they had the same outcome in game one. Still couldn't close it out. So that's one of those first bloods where uh, you need to be able to take advantage of it beyond just the initial. Oh, kind of canceled an auto there, and. That could have been crazy. That's, I believe, why Boogie was looking bot lane. They were hoping that they'd be able to get some type of fighter all in, but again, Jungler's just kind of in that seven camp. It's called a foot, bro. E, should you Let's be a, asleep, bro? Is it like Boogie midnight? Get out of here. He Soccer. knows that Busio doesn't have flash, so it could be a decent setup if Zazel wants to flash in, tag yeah. him for the auto, and then. I mean, they have the to know he's bot shove, side. You can't walk up here. They, they have really to know he's bot. They have to know. Good ward. It's kind of a fake hawk shot there, but they that that. No. Just I mean, it's a decent chunk of Namasu. He doesn't go down, this? but Zazel's gonna Maybe. still continue the charge. Not Boris Flash? Now what is he doing? He's gonna look for what an the arrow, 
fuck are you doing? Bro, I'm not gonna lie, FlyQuest is... Dude, I know they won last game. I think wanted to I don't... They are... Okay, like, the top two teams... Like, yes, Cloud9 had some rub spots, but the top two teams seem so much better than everybody else. Like, I think FlyQuest is a solid three. I guess we'll see next week. I might be in trouble, but Bo still has Flash, but Fake could answer with the Flash of his own. The Wave is not in the greatest spot for Shopify, but speaking of Wave states, chat, the Wave is pushing away from Masu as he just died. So now Shopify have this sizable advantage where if Boogie just wants to run back another gank onto the bot side of the map and pressure Masu even further out of the game, the top two teams, TL and C9. To yeah. on the side of the map to make I sure think this game the works. In. Yeah, I, I really like actually what he's doing right now where he's clearing his camps because uh, it's a little bit too chaotic to just spend the whole game bot lane like that and they get the attention of the Lillian nonetheless. Plus, he's going to be able to clear top to bottom, hit level five, and then still pull still off the best the team in the game. world. So I mean, Shopify's just got to keep hammering this bot lane two v two with ganks and fights. It's NA's year. Sizzle so getting aggressive once again, knowing that Busio cannot really challenge them whenever they have the wave pressed up like that. Jinji. The overall item advantage. I mean, Jinji well. has mental blocking and LPL. In so the gold shards, B Boy has a massive 1K mm. advantage over, and I imagine that once he gets a chance to recall, he's gonna really hammer that advantage in against Masu and Busio. So this is now a question that FlyQuest have to answer: Do they let Masu and Busio kind of figure this lane problem out on their own, or do they start sending more resources for the rest of the map to deal with? Yeah, it? I will say, Jinji, if they to lose to play, LPL in like the first round or whatever, feeling the pressure like, at the moment. Well, at the very whatever least, happens to Jinji, I swear to God, this is like any team can win. Getting here. the cleanse should be fairly effective for a future gank if they hit level six and want to go for the all-in. So, I'd say. Nice success there by Inspired to actually Guy's been co-streaming for two lane. days and already but has opinions of other regions. Grubs, so. Okay, I this watch and since I started co-streaming in general, yep. like three weeks ago, I've been watching other regions more. And not just like, oh, this guy used. From grubs, now moving on over to the bottom riverside. Yeah, Even E West, I watch I actually watch E West before stream quite often. Or LEC, like their finals. Yeah, they're gonna be able to control all the objectives, because as you mentioned. You're not really taking that Drake when Ash is going to be level six and Nautilus is going to be far ahead of your own support. Mm -hmm. FlyQuest really have to display a lot of patience here and kind of bide their time. I think they're going to have to at least give over the first Drake. I mean, they shouldn't ever face like this. That's slow pushing. He can't move here. He still has flash. Masu should not. Oh, he's lining up for a perfect flash. The minion wave does not save him. Uh, Lockdown from Zazel still has a flash. The ignite is sticking down, and he's going to still be alive. He's gonna rely on chugging those health bots to keep him healthy, but curious if that will call for Inspired's attention once again, just to make sure that they don't lose the crash. Contest wave Spot anything. as B-Boy and Zazel still have level sixes, or yeah. B-Boy has level six available. Zazel should be dinging six pretty soon. Delicate situation right here for FlyQuest because I mean, you know Shopify want to try and dive this. They don't have the Talia with them, so Inspired actually is in the right blind? place. It could go bad. Oh, oh, Shopify thought oh. that they had the advantage, but it's a 3v2. Inspired is at the right place at the right they time. Got him. But B-Boy still steps forward and knows the only way out is at least taking Masu I down mean, with well, him. I mean, well, Hawk shot it. You didn't see him on a Hawk shot top side. To get the way at out right of there, there is Hope Chess. In. But it's Hope the Lee. They're just playing Hope Like, like bro, there should be a requirement to be a pro league player. 2,000 chess rating. I swear to God, playing insanity, chess would help he these guys the so much. The slice so he could it really would. Over the wall. Uses the Weaver's wall to call Why they dive blind? The because they're just him, hoping the that Lilia's not there. Second. It's called hope chess. It's called. Alive. They're just hoping. Very close trade in the mid lane right there. It and once you stop just Bigo hoping, you, got some free time. you become a better player. And it, it continues. Boogie and B-Boy are going. The slows from you strategize against the what the best the possible Boogie outcome that any team can do is, you'll, you'll become better. Range. I swear to God. But Quad able to create enough distance. But now, he's down a summer spell. will be forced to teleport back to the mid lane. And Shopify continuing to show that they are not a team to be underestimated in the early stages of the game. They really aren't, but you can see the desperation a little bit with Shopify just because they had such an organic advantage in that bottom lane. And I think if they're really thinking clearly about their win conditions, that Cloud Drake died three minutes ago. It's still up. They're no closer to Soul. You have to take they risks. You don't, you don't have to. No, you don't have to. Would have felt really good to get an extra kill. 
but the fact that they gave the bounty over to Lilia, like now they is they were they had, they were two quest. zero with the it bounty. Lucian Chunk in a in a C, sure. or excuse me, Bars Chunk with his Drake, heal down in a CS lead. Don't have to compared to what would have been optimal. And it goes back to what we were talking about in game one, where Shopify, yes, they found these advantages, but they weren't being aware of what is the next best step and course of action. It's not always going super aggressive. Obviously, they needed it when Boogie came back in, since they were such a passive yeah. team in the first three weeks. But now Shopify, I, even, I, the, I... even in these moments of desperation, they have to compose themselves and recognize the best course of action is not always forcing a fight. Yeah, to just dive bot. I mean, they haven't even gotten plates down bottom with how much of an advantage. Well, it was back have. bot. So Where the f has Leah been this entire kills, game, by the way? Which they might get more of. Oh, well, they're going to fight and force the fight. Busio gets caught in the face check, but he's going to still engage the she fight. He has a ride. B-Boy takes him down. Inspired is here. Seismic shove is massive. Can Boogie finish him off? The little team loyal is going to put through them into sleep. The E bursts out Zazel. And Boogie is now on the run. Masu can just look for one more arrow. Boogie flashes over the wall. The seismic shove pushes him back into insanity. Can he look for a trade kill? And now the calling is opened up. Quad trying to pelt him with these rockets. Boogie doing everything he can to help him. Oh my god! Jesus, that was actually close as fuck. Inspired is actually so good right now. He is keeping this team. Yeah, this game's general. This series is all different. That was a nice try by Insanity. Actually, it was kind of gliding. I'm pretty, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure Hyde and Lucian kills it's, there, just it's saying. One of those games as a jungler where you know this lane's in trouble, but the other team's going to keep exposing themselves and you can counter it. So he's just hanging around there by the Gromp as Busio gets engaged on. And credit to Busio for actually getting a all of his cooldowns off before this fight starts so that they can one-shot B-Boy. Uh. But the thing I love here about Inspired is that he didn't burn his Drowsy on the initial kill. He saves it for the second kill and then just the spacing he has on Lilia here to keep his passive up with the Q on that last minion. So I mean, he cooked. Full stacks moving very quickly and just he's, moving he's, in and out. Stacks, he actually interested, cooked. Gets an extra Q. And then even at the end here, you can see Insanity moved in a little bit more, which allowed Quad to get the Q over he the actually wall. Beautifully cooking. played. By in Inspired's Lilia. Yeah, and hey, Inspired having like me. so much gold at that stage of the game. The extra HP from the Leandries. He knows his limits on this champion. He knows how far on the line he can tow to continue baiting Shopify into further possible? bad decisions. Is now a three-man hey, dive has to the top side. Whipple okay, already popped the ultimate. He's getting burned down. It doesn't seem like there's any contest. Nice and powered Cole the meat to nice sustain stuff. him through the dive, but it's still not enough. Shopify will find one and look to take out this tower. And they got six grubs, so they're getting a whole bunch of extra help on this turret. Let's Oof. see if FlyQuest can get a counter kill on Insanity, though. Yep, three-man counter dive into the mid lane. Insanity, no chance Oof. to survive that one. Inspired with his fourth kill of the second game. Gotta say I mean, it is what it is, bro. You've got to take Corky away. Uh, he is too safe. By the way, all these, every pop, single one of these Corky players is has, has literally that turret done that point. nothing. Um, so... APA First did is right now nothing. The they just exist. To give they the do not let you make plays. They just sit there and breathe exactly oxygen. I think half of it ended up going to Ash. So we're again in a situation now where B-Boy really needs to step up. But the team of Shopify this shit, bro. need to find a way to group up and use this Ash without just getting picked off by Inspired's Lilia over and over again. Yeah, it's a battle of what was one of the most constant reliable factors of Shopify success even in spring. Mm -hmm. B-Boy was our first all-pro AD carry. And I mean, Corgi is useless later. That's what I'm saying. You just make sure he... It's, it's like a... Uh, still make the top of the all-pro balance. Like a stalemate mid. have to remember that Inspired is no slouch himself either. Second all-pro in can't be in him because then he just picks something else and do it. region MVP. Fortunately. The, I think the only MVP of both LEC and LCS. Mm. I mean, this guy, if he gets gold, he's not going to waste it. This is someone who has already shown in game one how effective he can be on the Lilia, and the fact that he's got it again for Oof. a second round, he's not wasting any time with it. Yeah, 5,900 gold, 700 ahead of Talia, only about 400 total gold behind. Well, he's ruining mid. I mean, so it really was trying to run the same game plan he did in game, game one. So and I'd say, even again, comparing it's zero to like, summer, it's just this 80s, is even honest. more inspired there has team got in summer to be than it was pick, in spring, though. with the change to the jungle. There has to be really something to other than AP other 80s you can pick into court. Has to be. You know, 
making the rest of his team fend for themselves while he does what's best for him. Yeah. Because it generally works. Again, a reminder of the situation we're in. FlyQuest with a win here and a win next week against Cloud9 would be the second seed and would get a playoff by even if they have been underperforming or underhyped in the summer split so far. I mean, I, no, I don't know what it is. Like, it has to exist, though. Top two finishers. And on the Maybe people just haven't found it. This is all cards on the table. If they get swept here, they're out of play. Yep. If they win, even a single game, there's still places. scenarios where they can get tiebreakers or make it in. So very, very important what happens in the next 10 you, or 15 minutes. And you can almost sympathize with Shopify of why they're feeling so Like if they ban Corky, the teams that are picking Corky can so also hard, play Ziri. And it's starting to come at a cost in a few of these situations where they're overlooking some of the variables that could be Give dragons answered for that. by FlyQuest in response. I mean, Shopify, Shopify still has a gold lead. It's just, it feels bad. Top side in trade for FlyQuest picking up the second dragon of the game. I think FlyQuest is going to be fine with this trade. It delays the event. Casio Kid is kind of good soul, against all these champs. The Why is she not pick? And Lilia, even if it's the learning curve, gone, the attack speed variant of the build. I can see the adjustment that Shopify is trying to make from game one, where they felt like they underprioritized turrets. Here they have six. Because she has no mobility. That, they get a big gold injection by taking that second tier turret. But because it cost them the Drake, FlyQuest will still be able to really bleed this game out to a long, long, long game. And if we learn anything from game one, Jat, who cares about dragons if you can just find <laughs> one late game fight and just end true. the Nexus off of that the rewards. It's very true. Inspired still farming up a storm. Boogie really farming well, though. 132 CS on Talia. Just notice that. Uh, only 400 gold behind the Lilia. So still, no reason to panic. It's just weird. I, I, I have this impending sense of dread at the moment for Shopify. That, I yes, I, they, they have a gold lead, but it doesn't switched, feel real. I just be talking about how well they're controlling the game, how they have six grubs, how they're picking up all this extra gold, who cares, blah, blah, blah. But just based on how the season has gone, with Shopify leading the league in the stat called close percentage, but still being like 2-11 and 11 in game score, means they have not been good at closing out games. Yeah, it's the power of precedence, right? For Shopify, we saw the first three weeks be almost nothing. And now with Boogie back in the lineup, they're starting to find their footing and be more aggressive, be more proactive. And they're in the jungle. Was only successful in one of those weeks. Mm. Uh, as the TL1 earlier. Synergy went super long and they lost in those clutch moments past the 50 minute mark. And FlyQuest, they get this I mean, turn they are too? just a I think level they do. above the opponents that Shopify faced in weeks mm. four and five. So FlyQuest are always going to be able to find a I sizable mean, advantage on the other side of the They're playing some this lead. It's rather interesting though. It's uh, Grubs versus a Rift Herald base race edition. Because... Wait, are we base they're racing? They're killing inhibitor turrets right now. And Shopify panicking. Boogie joining the fight against Busio's fake god already slammed Wait, him into the Are we the wall, base racing? Already on the hunt for Masu. He burned the flash. Ours has no flash. He's dead. Can they end it? Another if rock Darcy lands beats? with a slow. And Shopify managed to pick up two kills on the bottom inhibitor as well. Bro, they got bot hip as well. They're going to get mid tower? Dude, Flight Quest. And Bwipo had to bail from the top push on the inhibitor. So the game of inhibitor chicken is won by Shopify there. They actually have to recall from that bot push since the mid lane oh lost so God. badly. An extra turret goes to Shopify. So now it's six turrets to four plus that big inhibitor. So the question now will be what will Shopify do with that extra inhibitor pressure? The inhibitor will go, still be dead I mean, when Baron spawns. Forces TP, so go Shopify Baron. will have a lot of map pressure going forward. We go back into the replay. It's just really strong collapse and proactivity from Buki, not wasting a second yeah. to find the pick. And I think FlyQuest Thank lost God, no. of the Talia a little bit with all the chaos that must have been happening with bot inhibitor being attacked by Rift Herald, Lilia, and Corky, and then top lane being attacked by Ash and Nautilus. So nice. They all got watches or what? Buki. Are watches cool nowadays? Now taken by Shopify Rebellion. You have so much strong side lane pressure without needing an extra man to attend to those waves all the time. You can now start setting up strong vision into the top quadrant mm. and get ready for Baron in the next couple of minutes. They absolutely can. But I'm looking at the vision right now. Thanks for the toggle observers. Not any deep vision I mean, in the spots macro. map where they already have well. deep turret kills. So Shopify needs to make sure not to rush too much through this in fear of getting picked. But getting control of this Baron while they have super minions down in the bot side is imp important because you have to keep in huh? mind that the Baron. they're not going to be getting any gold from those bot lane minions. All of it's going to be going over to FlyQuest. So if 
If nothing happens, I can only play the 80 in a quarter. The gold will actually creep up a little bit. Just easier, so you don't That's get out shoved. The cons of this early inhibitor being taken for shop back. You can match the prio. They still have to wait another 40 seconds before they can start pressuring that neutral objective. Yeah. Means that Shopify are just kind of in a dead state of playing back and forth, of pushing up mid and top wave, going into that red buff quadrant, making sure that they're, they're maintaining that vision control, which is already four set up. Years. Boogie and B-Boy like staying on the map while insanity Christ, I can hear it through my headset so and he my can fucking attend head. to the wave on the top <laughs> side of the map. And now FlyQuest... They're going to have to answer the question of how far they yeah, want to start checking nice. into nope. the darkness, which is that top red buff quadrant. And I mean, Shopify is pretty pot committed into this Baron at this point with how many wards they just dumped in this jungle. They're hoping to get a pick first. It's possible. I have no vision. But for all I don't know if they have knows, uh, too much of a Baron's threat that they're started. on it, though. It, it seems like it would take them forever. Let's see how they use these blue trinkets, because they do have two up. Ah, unpatient. Um, impatient. You have to use one and Busio notices them. This is where composure is so critical for Shopify. You see an opportunity for the pick, but you cannot, you cannot be too hasty with your moves when you're using Fog of War to your advantage. Going in maybe I mean, Rel has in. only one ward. It's actually Our really good for them. The dredge oh, line does not land. This, up. this is all 4v5, by the way. Whippo's just dealing with super minions. Oh... Sandy maybe gets tagged by Wait, this is good as shit, down. by the way. His he ult is not going cool down. Can he get out? He flashes to the right side. Sandy doesn't get a chance to lock him in. Whoa, he we're playing this fight like shit, run. though. Okay, the roll it down. Solid as long as he can, but Bustio's okay. already fallen. It's Bippo a five on four. Still available no for ult. Shopify. They got, he got teleport, support. Even though he's low on HP, can always rejoin the fight. Will Shopify start the still pushing? I think they have to hit here. Nice sequence. They want to. has no flash. Has to walk in. She has no hourglass. Very fast. Inspired. Still alive. No flash or stopwatch. Down I'm to 10k. You. Anyway, Corky's this is good. I think it's Baron. Get this. Yeah, Quad has to attend to the Super Minions pouring into the bottom side of the map. They have that pressure thanks to the couple minute sequence earlier before Shopify. Bro, are we really going to go to a game three? Of the game. And you can start to feel the hope from the crowd once again. They're no fits, guys. I've been working a long day. Up, okay? To are we really going to go to game three? FlyQuest, get your shit together, man. On their last legs. I'm a father. Well, if they lose this game, they are eliminated from the LCS. Come on. It's Sunday. It's my day off. Come on. Be alive. A series win and a series win next week, though, would actually make them go into playoffs because they'd move to three match wins. So uh, there might be some tiebreakers that prevent that from happening, but they'd have very good chances if they win both of their future two games. Also, a fun fact, Rafa. I just heard from my producers. Yes? It depends how fun you think this is. <laughs> 16th fastest inhibitor in LCS history in this game, which to me seems... I'm actually shocked with how many lane swap years we had. 16th fastest? The fact that none of them that's took the... the well, <laughs> that's an info that drop? 16 of them 16? didn't take the inhibitor prior to... Oh, that, that was, is by the way, that was yeah. the 16th fastest happened. inhib ever taken. Things happen in Shopify games. I guess if you think about it in the grand like, scheme of things, that's like a lot. Of now, like, like, oh yeah, years, 16th longest game ever. Yeah, games. it's such a weird number that I feel What's like... What's number one? It's kind of cool, though. <laughs> What's number one? I think. Yeah, I mean, it's it's fascinating, but now it's just racking up my brain of like, <laughs> well, what other games were the other fastest? They must have all been lane swaps. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to say this is probably like the second fastest non-lane swap in it ever, and I'm not fact-checking it because it's too hard. <laughs> Our eyes are on this game, and we got to make sure... We are attentive to seeing what Shopify right, so can do with this Baron push. Pretty good. The Weaver's Wall nice can't get in without early flashing. Pushes FlyQuest momentarily back. Decent chip damage on. They have Rel combo here. It's a good look. Oh, Nautilus caught it and actually ulted. It's really good by Big Z. And good poke with the calling from Insanity. That was a really good play by Big Z. Is ready to fall. Just a couple more auto attacks. It was. Fake oh God, meanwhile, was working through the mid lane. Masu could not hold him off. And now the base has been completely cracked open by Shopify. Shopify getting chance. Hope is rising. 6,000 gold lead. Every inhibitor is open. But they're still going to have to find a way to end this game. 6,000 gold ahead right now. They're looking very good. <laughs> Dude, and I got to say it. quite good for a Fly long quest. game one. These so guys there's a are... lot to be hopeful about with Shopify here. It's just a matter but of they look... actually finishing this game. Okay, they had good leads against G2. So they did. But they blew it every single time. Past. They ran back the same I, I, cringe I comp almost from last game. Bro, this Corky did nothing last game. He's doing, like, Quad is too good of a player. He really is. To be like sitting here just doing nothing every game. Mm -hmm. And then it's just over. 
Get off the Corky, man. State. Summer Bash tailgate is next Saturday, August 10th at 11 a.m. So make sure you are here an hour early because that is when all the action will be starting up and then we'll be opening doors around 12 o'clock for the pre-show. So it's going to be a fun time. But right now, Shopify, the gonna, Yes, I, I've seen him play. It looks, he looks much better. They do. They are so close to winning just one game. And as you mentioned before, winning just one game keeps their playoff chances alive. And they have the tools here. Oh shit, they so have Superman if they win lane. this game but lose this series, they they're not out of the playoffs? Stacking, so it's a little tricky to get an organic way for FlyQuest to move up towards them. But if they but keep the waves, not they keep strong vision side. and they find and engage with an Ash Arrow. Because he's always useful. Or Nautilus Hook. I think they have big enough that they I think that's why he's been fight, which for wasn't literally 10 years in that first straight game. top yeah. lane. I'm pretty so sure. So they're definitely pushing waves, setting up vision, and trying to find what would be a game-ending pick, I think. MF was banned. Because the dragon is still not spawning for another couple of minutes. Shopify just maintaining that control on the top side. I would not be surprised if Shopify, say, forego the dragon when it spawns and force FlyQuest mm. to defend the top side because this is an open right. base. Yeah. And they're so far away from Soul anyway. There's a bit of a risk I mean, of just play for Ash to Arrow. prevent the other team from getting Soul because that's kind of the only way FlyQuest comes back. I just realized Ash has thing. Halo Blades. Mm -hmm. But it'll be interesting to see how they how they play this out. Waiting for a possible engage. If uh, if it basically if Inspired gets the right E on someone, it could mean Dredge line on the Whippo. Oh, Isn't the engage Inspired Q flash Both right onto the back cares. line? One cleanse on the B boy, but in Boogie. What is it's Bucio forced to pop the stasis? It's in the close up Bucio. Whippo holding everything he can with the Sarah's game. Don't kill in, dies, Boogie. And Boogie doesn't even go down. Shopify still have five members strong. Fake How does nobody trouble, die there? Away. What the fuck? The Eve, but Fake Up flashes away. Shopify stay alive. They get two for zero, but they're all so low. It doesn't look like they can make much of what this just wait, map state. By the grace of God, what happened? Slightly. Let's nobody dies there? They probably end up picking up that Drake and threatening Baron on the way back. These are the types of fights, though, that are very close. Because even though right, the see. hook landed... Nar is okay, on he could, this right is like, now, oh shit, so I hope this doesn't hit, but it actually hit. Right? So he's in the Ash cleanse. In, gets a double Almost, nobody hits jungle here instantly. Boogie. Boogie. Cleanse stops one, stopwatch stops the other, though, which doesn't allow FlyQuest to follow up. Where's Varus? Where is. And two more kills end up where's going Gorky? over to Insanity. Nice little bit of juking at the end by Fake God there to stay alive. And now the next Drake is up, I think. Shot Where are the carries? This up before pressuring Baron. This is going to be seen recalling on a ward. We'll see if FlyQuest try to use that to their advantage. But with Super Minions pouring in through the midway, no so they can even contest Shopify. Pick up their second dragon of the game. That does mean the next neutral objective for play is Baron, which is spawning just in a couple of Zimmer's seconds. better here. I've been seeing a couple of mids on worldwide famous low nemesis channel. Man, what a story. And that guy's really good at League. But yeah, I've seen a couple mids in EU. I'm not trying to jinx it. I'm couple just thinking mids they're in EU. up 6,000 gold. They're literally on the brink of elimination. If they can't close out this game, it would be the most crushing way to Bro, be Bro, if Silver mid ever LCS. becomes meta, smite me where I stand. How boring this will this one game out, be? Get a pick. And end the this game. This is as good. He's, He's all right. I play with them. He has a... He kind of has a Chovy problem. Where he Maintaining needs to CS. The left side so he like, he needs to CS a minute. Like, or, is, or he, like, starts twitching in real life. Flyquest have to respect it. The arrow does not land on Inspire. I think it weighs him they down as a player. trying to fish for him, knowing that he did not have Flash from the fight before. But no dice. Mm, that's true. It, I guess it's worth the try. A lot of times you want those arrows to be from Fog of War. It looked a bit like a lackluster engage. But... Like this Lucian now build, I've been seeing it, it a lot in solo queue. I think it's actually not bad. Baron. It's allowing FlyQuest time to reset. Remember when you beat Chubby with your Scion? Yes, I do remember. Ward stock for site wards to control wards. You couldn't get Tintius minute if you tried. Yes, I could. Yes, I could. Yes, I could. Yes, I could. So many different ways to sniff out a Baron start. Thankfully for FlyQuest. Trying this no vision no play again. We'll be pouring into the base for now. All three inhibitors are back up. Yeah. Shopify now. I'd be worth pushing mid, getting in hibs. To get it and create an advantage to force FlyQuest to come into them. Whippo. Lurking around. Cracking got nerfed. Not a lot of people building it. So kind of bullshitting with their lead here. This has also been their weakness throughout the split. 
unifying they know as a team no on how to close out these They're games. They're going for That's it. Oh, Cecil goes in, sacks his life for the cause. Whippo tries to dash on to yeah, B Void to capitalize. They, they find the pick! And FlyQuest are now wiping out two. They wipe out three. Thank they God. Lost. We'll try to scoop them back and they find a kill on an inspired. Bookie's still They're alive. too scared that with leads, man! Test for Baron, since Bookie can Bro. Smite it, but they're gonna go Dude, for it the anyway. thing about Rafa, like nobody Rafa expects anything right from you, Shopify. You have nothing to lose. Why do you always play mid to late game so scared? Their season alive here as Talia. Fog 4K on the Baron. FlyQuest have to be careful about how they handle this. Fake God still in mini form, trying to maintain vision so that Bukit can go in, but he doesn't have flash. He goes golden with his onions. The turn from FlyQuest. They're trying to pop him. Massive damage Wait. on the two. Oh my God. Oh my God. And he's gonna look for. Oh my God. He's in trouble. Dodges the rock, but Fake God still. Has Wait, Fake God's a monster. Oh shit. The end, the end. Oh, I spoke too soon, huh? As well, they might try and push for more. They have a free wave and open and hit only inspired as a inspired is not holding one before. I think they want to end 10 seconds on Busio, 20 seconds. Free fake god, seriously. He played last series disgusting. I think his NAR is just really good. I played against him, so I think his NAR is just good. Inspired has flash and R. It's gonna be close here, Jat. Four members for Shopify. I think they wait for an Armega. Oh, they can't in. Holding the line, but I think death timers are too short. For okay, but this has to be Baron. It's double inhib. It, this is Baron. inhibitors, and that's all they're gonna get. What a banger this is at the moment. Still a six thousand gold lead for Shopify. Okay, it's a it, it's a it banger like with a six thousand gold lead. Like Shopify should be crushing. Gonna by the be way. the thing that brings FlyQuest back into the game. Barely gets B-Boy with that E, and they just say, let's go. Busio had been sneaking around the backside, so they can absolutely clean the rest of them at the end of Lilia this game. Lilia dies here. Getting insanity as well. But then, Fake God and Boogie. Fake God's NAR has been so clutch. Actually pushed them off the Baron. Inspired says, ah, we pushed a little bit too hard here in this particular fight where Boogie... Delays the initial engage oh with his God, stopwatch, it, really lands a boogie. great seismic shove onto quad, and that allows Fake God to clean up the back end of this fight on the NAR, where he's now 4-0-5 oh and again in a strong position. But let's see, we got a fight happening. Oh, inspired. He's got flash. He has flash. Flashes the dredge this line. This fight's wonky. Everybody's everywhere. It's like they're fighting three separate fights. Corgi's kind of pooping. Nala's going to die. They might go to get Fake God here as well. They got to run. Bupo's buying so much time with their backline. Actually, he did so much here. Insanity flash. Busio flash. We got Ash flash. Ooh, we're going to get that real here as well. And a half to Baron, right? But I don't think it's enough for Shopify to push it in. It's enough for Shopify to get an even bigger Bupo actually bought a lot of time there. And it's likely an uncontested Baron since FlyQuest need to deal with super minions in the mid and the bot lane. It's never easy for Shopify. FlyQuest is doing Jesus so much Christ, to keep this man. game alive. Inspired is finding so many picks. It feels like there's always a Rel and a Renekton on a play. Nars been banned but a Shopify lot, actually, in LCS. Is surviving. And Jed, I think this has been Fake God's best performance this summer split so far. And what a time for True. it to it arrive game one. in Shopify's most dire moment. Yeah. And I also gotta say, historically, Fake God has had a really tough time against Whippo. He's playing so well against what has really been one of like his nemesis, it feels like, in the LCS. Let's watch Fake God in this I mean, fight. Whippo bought a lot Back of time. Safety, Whippo trying to buy time on the back end, ends up falling. And then B-Boy really just being extremely strong at the end. Revan thinks this game should have been over eight minutes ago. That's why oh, he's absolutely. down in the seat like that. And he knows the season is over in a couple minutes if they don't do this right. This has been their issue this year is actually closing out the game as the real God has connected to this game. Not a fake lead this game like it was in game one. Fly, Fly still win? So I mean, let's see how pussy Shopify places. This massive advantage from Shopify. It still doesn't feel like a 7,000 They have to advantage. do this. It feels just Guys as have to pull the trigger. Come on, we got this. State. Doesn't get much better than this. Two waves of supers and Baron minions in the top side. You'd want to be able to break all three inhibitors and then slowly move up to the top or fly quest over commits to defending this Baron wave. Your two waves of supers can reach the Nexus turrets and you can start killing these. 
They're pushing in super minions on the Nexus Tower, empowered by the Baron Bomb. and hips down. FlyQuest doing what they can to Hippo's hold the line. playing like he wants to flash. Enjoying Ash has the no siege, cleanse But the top inhibitor flash. falls thanks to Fake God. Busio attempting to weave his way around and look for a flank. But FlyQuest knows that the only way forward is from under the Nexus Towers as they now try to hold on. The engage on the Blippo. He's Christ. blown up! Shopify with the first kill! And it's they finally flip the FlyQuest slip. down to the last three members for the base defense. Here comes Fake God. A flash from Quad keeps himself alive. But Boogie sends it on the Quad instead. Down to the last legs. But Shopify Flyquest. still stands tall. Oh the my god, Sly Quest, what the f is Let's wrong go, with you? Let's go Shopify, bringing us to a third game oh, against Now Flyquest. Shopify doesn't, uh, dominant play in they the fight for playoffs. B-Boy and Zazel, and then they just had to work for it. FlyQuest put up such a strong base defense. What a play there by Shopify. Seven, two, Yo, I pray to God we were, we're not lucky in game three, guys. On Fake God's NAR. One more gives him the series. It's a confidence boost that you need to survive. But with that, we're going to head on over to the LCS Lounge to break that oh, banger God. of a game two down. Thank you very I much. I think Kai directed almost all those fights. To the LCS Lounge. It was, that was something. <laughs> yeah. As we're, I mean, just as the camera was coming to us, you had some words. <laughs> you know, like, what do I say about this one? <laughs> Maybe with the next split or whatever, man. But like, what would you say about this game? Okay, so first of all, Shopify has a good early game. Yeah. Boosie mm -hmm. was dying in lane for, I don't know why he died in lane this game. It was kind of weird. He just got all attack to death, level one. Yeah. Because he's uh, bored. I started the whole early game for Shopify, but actually, really good team fights from Shopify, but they just didn't close very well. I think they had a six goalie for like ten minutes in a row. Yeah, I mean, I think we've They're seen that scared, from bro. a lot They're of scared. the bottom half of the table teams where sometimes even when they get these large leads, they don't necessarily know how to close. Yeah. The big thing for me, though, is again, Boogie on a comfort pick like this to Leo, yes, which and not we're not seeing Iver. as a power pick jungle, but he was able to affect his lanes yeah. early. He was able Iver to isn't for camp everybody, that bot bro. lane once, <laughs> once normally, they started dying. You, know, you pick it with like Renekton or something, so you have guaranteed setup yep. for your tactic shove, right? And this game didn't have that. He still made it work in team fights. I think Rory's been was banned every game. Sometimes lane pressure bought this game. They even like, against team had that one time where they, they killed them 2v2, and Inspire was there and got mm -hmm. double kill. That was kind of bad for them. But still, I like seeing that they're, you know, not faltering, even though they're at match point, basically. Yeah, I mean, the actual gold curve looks a little that smooth. Damage wild. Wild. did not feel that <laughs> yeah. at all. There's <laughs> a little back. dip right past 30 minutes. Yeah. Just like, eh. There were some I, moments. This court, I want to call out Fake God, who has had so far an amazing season. Okay, quad does the not. Had, you, we are uh, not putting he's looked incredible. the God Quad there were some on Corky Game 3. Are we fly quest? Where, uh, it looked do like please do not back, run back the same top side draft again. Oh, God. He's saying, no, no, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it was fine, no guys, it was, it was a fine combo, we played this, Adam's played that bad, it's fine, let's run it back, we did nothing wrong, let's go again, they were bad, they were bad, we got this. In next game, and they can just use one ban for the NAR, I feel like, but what's best champion is Max. Ah, no, look, he's like, ah, fine, with Renek to top lane. It's Pegas' best champion, and the best answer he has to Renek. No problem! Just ban on blue. Hey, hey, hey! can't the bans, but on blue. No problem, bro, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine! Give me Renek again! ...has been getting through drafts, and we've been a little bit surprised considering how strong she is in the 2v2. I want to say FlyQuest Balling could just play better. <laughs> <He gets> fist. <laughs> I don't feel like the way they died was a champion issue. He just got right click to mm -hmm. death, low one. Yeah. Fighting for prior when he couldn't get the prior. Mm -hmm. So you could just try again, <laughs> kind of. Yeah. Um, so eh, they could, but I don't think they have to. They showed that one that thing that I really want to point of, out. Uh, the fact that Shopify's playoffs lives are yes, free. they so are saved. They are saved, no matter how this series ends, that they can go into next week still fighting for their chances. They're yep. playing who next week? Even if they lose, they have a tiny, a good question. tiny sliver. They're playing 100 Thieves, okay, but really first, cool. they have to see yeah. if they can beat FlyQuest. We're going to toss to break, and Game 3 is on mm. the other side of that. Hello, and welcome to Immortals Progressive's Epic Game Show. I'm joined this? by three amazing competitors. <laughs> Gentlemen, how are we feeling? 
please refrain from pressing the button. It is great that we did not cover any yeah. rules. It's cool uh, for 400. The ancient Egyptian empire was based on what continent? What? I don't even understand the question. What do you mean? Pretty self-explanatory, personal. Is the question what the Egyptian empire was or what the continent was? There's words if on you the read screen, the and if you one, read two, them. Three, I thought it meant based, like it was based on, you know what I mean? Egypt. That's based. I read the chat. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. 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 Where's the episode? Wait, what I say? I don't remember what I said. Yep. Their mid has move timer now. You guys have 10, 15 seconds. Oh, I did? Oh, oh shit. Don't be scared. I'm sleeping tight. Yeah, yeah, we going. We going. TP NAR, TP NAR. I'm backing, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, and Hans, don't take, don't chase? I take, 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 Narka flash, Lucian, 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 from that first game. But that game was like pure calm. So I was like, what the f is going on? Did you see upload them? Upload comment videos in the week after their games? Ah. League of Legends. I think I love the fact that every game is a new experience, whether there are things that are similar or not. Each game feels like you can always improve upon yourself and you get rewarded for doing so or like there's a lot of instantaneous feedback I think and it just feels good when you know you're better than your opponent. Hmm. Every game is new, and there's always something to take away and learn. And another benefit of having a new game is that regardless of what, what happens prior me? in the series, there's always something that you can go in with a better mindset. I don't know how, how, how I would respond to that a better mindset like PR friendly. And more lessons I don't know. learned. And I think I that is exactly what Shopify were able the best. to do. That's even I after don't know. a crushing I, I, loss I, I, in game I think one, it's like a positive thing they I endured say. Jet. They withstood the momentous task of playing against FlyQuest in that second game, and they finally took him down, which has feeling saved of winning? their Well, you know, the feeling of winning yeah. does not yeah, feel so as bad as losing I've sucks. Around with the, with our LCS I've said it many times, but bro, you can win 14 mistakes, games in a row, remaining for and that so, first loss uh, feels like com makes you still feel like complete shit. They it, been eliminated it, from honestly, it outweighs the now, 14 wins. If they win this series 2-1, 
then a 2-0 or a 2-1 against 100 Thieves next week would guarantee them playoffs. If they lose this series 2-1, all right, guys, I got to play an ad. Still up for shut up. It is what it is. At place you don't get in game. Would Goodbye. actually put them in playoffs over 100 Thieves. So that's how important that was. They're still going to have to beat 100 Thieves next week. Yes. So no matter what, if they lose to 100 Thieves next week, they're even if they 2-1 this and they lose to 100 Thieves 2-1 or 2-0. All right, also so they're banning still. Brand. So they're they banning Leona much, still. Need to focus on it. Weirdly enough, like the hundred thieves thing could be all that matters for them. But more important, the band not swept by fly quest was the most important quest for them this week. It's a bit, it's a bit deflating actually. Like I, I debated whether or not saying that because yes, like winning against fly quest is amazing. But even if they lost this and they two zero next week, they're going to be in playoffs. Sure, but I think then what you can okay, the say fly for quest is banning or next game force is play Wait. for confidence. Play yeah. to continue Wait, what does that mean? Wait, why would Flying Quest be in Renekton when they've picked it twice the and Fake Out's gone Nar? Find something new that you can discover about yourself. Aurora so you put Band. yourself in the best position to go forward next week against 100 mm. Thieves. And I think for FlyQuest, what is what happens if they win 2-1? What is their yeah. playoff implications like? So for FlyQuest, it's extremely important for them to win because then they can still get a top two. So if they win this match, then a match win of either kind against wait, Sinai wait, next week, 2-1 or 2-0, would make them second place. That they were talking outside, and Poopo was like, uh, no, bro, Renekton's fine. Give me it. I'll pick it. It's fine. I'll pick it. I'll pick it. I'll pick it. Uh, wait. And then one of his teammates is like, that in a target man from the top two because the game score tiebreaker wouldn't matter so Whoa. it's a little bit must win for FlyQuest. yeah okay because he, so he knew he was gonna go nar why ban rectin our blinds fine series out whereas for shopify use the fuel of knowing that you can play spoiler to your opponent denying them that top two buy as extra drive to close the series out strong. Jin could be flexed mid or AD. FlyQuest taking blue side as ven predicted it they went with the well nars beat the out of them both was games, in actually. Hands. Shopify immediately answering with the Renekton band. They go straight up for the NAR and the Jin. Third NAR game in a row for Bwipo. Bot lane has been a bit of a disaster this series for FlyQuest. Yeah, they're getting gapped by Big Z and B-Boy. dominated the week prior with Masu actually being our reigning Literally, Do not, man. Game. What are we it's doing? We have to respect it as a flex pick. Oh my god! Dude, like, so just for that, I want FlyQuest to lose. Just, like, the, the same reason I wanted Team Liquid to lose. Shopify. Team Liquid slamming Corky three games in a row. Hand. They go Bro, are Nalos we, at, like, be, be dead, are we improving? That are we crazy. learning? Da, da, don't, don't get your are we winning? Fast, guys. I mean, no, to, to all of them. This technically still could be a flex pick, but I imagine yeah. that Shopify realizing Boogie had an ex an excellent performance on yeah. this champion. Okay, so we're going and for to... them, it's like let's not give FlyQuest an opportunity to abandon in the next. Of course, yeah, I think agree. that's fair. I, going even to Leah again. There are still a lot of flex possibilities for Shopify. I do think that Boogie should play Talia again. Yeah. If I'm just going with shoulds, because he was able to keep pace with Inspired's Lilia. Looks like that. And quite freaky. honestly, if Inspired hadn't picked up so many kills defending his uh, somewhat lackluster bot lane in the last game, it would have been even Man more one-sided for Shopify. So they should be pretty happy with the three champs they have locked in so far. Yep. There's a couple of things that are looming for FlyQuest. They have yet to okay, pick a top us. laner. And this is an early NAR blind like pick. Zazel's yeah. not In list. previous metas, we have seen crazy counter picks. Aurelia, Yasuo all come to mind at the moment. Whippo does not play I'm Aurelia. Curious what FlyQuest will want to see from Whippo. Yeah. I, I really want to know what he has cooked up because he was quite passionately speaking with the Go camera Rengar, bro. You know, Whippo loves Rengar top. Games. And historically, Whippo has dominated Fake God. I was looking into these stats before the series and I think all time Whipple was seven and two against Fake God. This is all all time LCS with dominant laning phases. I think he was averaging eighteen CSD at fourteen uh, in the. I mean, they just banned us, so he Whippo. can't pick it. And this series, I right, let's see if they're flexing the Jin lane. mid or going. Fake God has obviously won both games. Fake God has been twelve two and seven across both games. I mean, they could games. double flex. And with all of that, they still decide that their three bands should be 
Brand, Leona, and Renekton. I mean, if they go, if they go Lucian, you're so not going to this tells me that Whippo MF is, is disgusting is right now. It's the matchup problem, yep. and it's not the player, and his coaches are trust-falling him. So we need to see what he has left. Still flex with the Jin and Lucian here with the Nami support. Such an incredible series. All right, what is Big B uh, have? Shopify Rebellion. Most likely going over to Insane once again to guarantee that Pryo into the Corky, which gives Buki free reign. FlyQuest, what is their option into the NAR? Shopify already predicted a Mount Scion! And the Scion lock-in. Oh, shit! It's a, just a big old tank. I'll it's, take the I Scion pick. Okay, it's something new. Okay, I like it. Saying, wouldn't it be nice if we just had a good you guys know that I beat Chovy the game for days one versus one in the middle us. lane with Scion accomplishes he's not gonna win lane go check the vods it's gonna youtube.com t1 slash Chovy t1 versus Chovy excuse me Nar Jin Lucian armor stacking plated steel caps he's going oh no to go Tyler one you, you could go t1 and I would probably pop up over Fly over at, over you know t1 the league team because I'm, I'm more popular and well known but probably just go Tyler one first, mm -hmm. and to their credit it took plus 30 minutes before Shopify were able to close out the Nexus. All right, so we got 6,000, 7,000 gold. I think Rel and Dallas so start. This is we counterpick ourselves. Are just reading and saying, what do you got, Shopify? Can you actually blitz us in this final game of the series? Yesterday, it's we've seen the Alistar against Rel and Pro play as well, and uh, the Alistar kind of cooked. them advantages in this series. B Boy and Zazel have been stepping up in a big way. 2v2 kills in both games one and two. It's given Boogie a place to play around after that. It's kept inspired, not completely at bay, but at least it limits the impact he can have on the overall map. Let's see if Shopify can pull off an upset, get wins two weeks in a row, or if FlyQuest can keep their chances of top two alive. For Shopify, it's about confidence. Oh. And it's about continuing to surprise the top of the Does table. Does Shopify win two weeks in a row? It's a chance to net I hope not, bro, because I was going to buy yeah, I wanted them to win. As they would have to finalize it against Cloud9 next week. But it has to start with a series closeout against Shopify Rebellion today. Both teams locked in. And I'm ready for one more banger today. We've had so many exciting games. And it has been delivering. As we finally oh, nobody utilized counterpicks in this region? Just One like, last time here in week six. People can't play everything, bro. People aren't caught. Like, even if they can play, it's like, Bubo can play a lot. Are you that confident to lock it in? Well, Maybe game one, quest. but in game three, are you that confident? That's why I don't base. think anybody in C9 versus Team Liquid locked in it's Aurora right, game three. I think if it was provision. game one, maybe Making somebody sure would have. The rest of FlyQuest is not seen. Zazel already took a recall, so it doesn't look like Shopify will try and capitalize and punish Inspired if he goes forward, which would be the bait that FlyQuest need to set up and try to lure Shopify into that trap. Yeah. There's an outside chance of a lane swap here as well for FlyQuest because they have the Scion, depending Ooh. on how much they've been practicing it. They I have hate a lot this of lane swapping experience from the side. And Dude, this like, is the, like, it has to be a coach's decision, right? The best right? time to lane like, swap. There's no, so mid, like, there's no way these like there's no way APA is like it is like hell yeah coach about the lane Corky three games in a row in there's a no way deciding game the there's no way quad of god is sitting here like yes I want to play Corky three games in a row like there's no way Shopify there's no way start poking their head around and see what's up shit Sion's oh, down here insta wow. flash Boogie. flashing yeah. away from the decimating smash as soon as they place the ward down I mean this tells me that Shopify was prepared actually. The fact that he was so ready to flash away, that a meant lane swap he was here. waiting for a, some type of lane swap vision control cheese where they get you with the Scion Q. He would have actually been completely fine, but he didn't know that, and he was incredibly ready to stay alive. Yep. Definitely a shame knowing that after the, the aftermath, XP. Uh, he just played for Kugi XP, doesn't care about damage. Members, he probably could have survived, but that's just kind of the forethought. Yeah. Oh shit, wait, they're gonna dive him. Oh, going in. They're making sure they're not giving away any chances to FlyQuest. Oh, and now it's an experience spotted. game. Whippo, I believe, got two of the three minions. There's four people down bottom lane, so he's... Oh god. He's currently not opting for the let them kill me so I can get the wave strategy. And is instead just... Shouldn't he? Away. Yeah. Would that one guy...
I mean, fly quest we're gonna go I always for forget because he's so f***ing irrelevant and scrawny and pipsqueak and piney and terrible at League of Legends. What's the guy's name? Hufias or whatever? Inspire's not able to go right away into the jungle. That, but now that Giga Random die. Split, strong side of the bot for Shopify, top side for, for that wave. Quest. Inspire now gets the chance to full clear through the top red buff quadrant. Yeah, vertical jungling. The thing here, though, is that they're basically giving free gold over to B-Boy that Masu is not going to be able to get. But the whole gamut here is that Bwipo versus Fake God is going to be an advantage for Bwipo later. He steals a little bit of experience. Really, actually really clever by Bwipo to step up at this time. He's getting so much experience here. He's fine. Fake God is so sharing with the rest of the team. They they actually can't even die Bwipo here. That'd so be... pretty well played here, actually, by Bwipo Please. for the time that he decided to He's move burnt. back in. Yeah, I'm Sorry, sure guys, I gotta burp my beautiful chunked. queen. I wonder if it was just their first attempt at diving Bwipo and B-Boy tanking up the turret shots, but because <laughs> they're not super healthy, I think that adds to the reason yeah. why Bwipo feels safe in that situation. Yeah, even if they kill him as well, he's got his passive to continue clearing the wave. Can teleport back in as well, so now we're just... We're not quite done with the swapping yet. I think the Ash Alistair oh, will be going girl, back and move his way back girl. top lane at this point. But you can see, in general, oh, uh, an experience advantage and a small CS lead for the Sun. Yeah. It's funny it, how in the first two uh, games, FlyQuest adamantly taking what might have been advantageous laning pairs... I'm almost done yeah. Shopify, b voice Zazel. And they lost solo kills in both instances. So now Fly Quest, so the answer is like, all right, guys, we're not sure what's happening, but I'm a, a, a save you. I'm the, the goaded baby phase. burper, by the way. Try to prevent and avoid that situation again. Yep. And now Fly Quest cry? are just she burped. She was avoiding B Boy and Azazel at all costs for the first few minutes of the game. I do think it's kind of interesting that the two lane swap teams we still have in the LCS are the two teams that played MSI. Where lane swapping was a huge Next part of the out, They haven't grown out of the meta. And now it's this pocket strategy where. They just have so much more preparation than everybody else in the LCS with that strategy, and they're going to be able to use it to their advantage throughout, I think, the rest of the playoffs. And my girlfriend always got me to burp our son. I feel like moms are too afraid to pat them hard enough. I kind of agree. But th the trick is, is it necessarily the padding? It's the positioning of their stomach. Since like, to, to like wasn't able to punish get it, the gases it, up. It's not like the padding. It's just like you got to get the, the, the yeah. gases. That's a weird thing to talk about, though, because all the people here were talking about margins of like It's not necessarily the padding. But it is still... On those margins, that you can actually sometimes win games, as we now. When see you guys have children, you'll know. About playing something. Yeah, but someone. When is also when here when you guys are the greatest fathers, you'll know. This is he really bad. Flash. Yeah, flash is still down. Oh, save with the ring of back. Oh, oh, oh shit! Wait, that's confidence. For and if this is an MSI strategy. I hate to say it, but FlyQuest Top Jungle did have some whoopsies at MSI as well. This wasn't oh quite no. that level. Uh, Inspired has flash up. Didn't think it would be uh, life saving. Children in the current it, economy. So okay, we can talk about this later. Let's Beautiful focus on the play game, over guys. the wall okay. by Zazel, actually. Once yeah. Boogie gets chunked down, to be able to turn that around was very nice. Just trusting in the call. I imagine yeah. that Boogie. Was confident this is actually instant, though. I like how they went for this. Stunned, no red, hesitation. Stunned. No chance to flash, actually, from Inspired after the initial, after the initial re-engage. And a Shopify. Are they crazy? Uh, uh, Spotify gonna win this? Spot they, I mean, they deserve to, man. Back in. They're, they're, not they're not meta slaving. They're not locking the same cringe chance. The they're doing their own thing with their the own picks. You would imagine that Shopify, you Shopify, to Shopify, to Shopify, 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 Shopify. They are called Shopify. Lost and directionless. You've been, if you check out the Shopify content in the blogs, you know, they say like, man, it seems like we just don't know what to do. Mm -hmm. But with Buki back in, confidence is back. Yeah. Everyone is on full throttle. It's given them so much direction in the early game, late game as well. They've been able to close out a 2-0 last week move this series to 1-1, one, one. even speak, if it I'm wasn't fast, trouble. it was still effective enough it is to get the is. win and keep their season alive. Boogie, much better. I'd like to see the Shopify story continue, and the good news is it will, yeah. actually. So even if they lose this, because they kept their game score high enough with a 1-1 one, one against FlyQuest, 2-0 uh, against 100 Thieves, even if they lose this series, would still keep them in the playoffs. Correct. But the importance of this series win for Shopify is whether they would need a 2-1 or a 2-0 against 100. You only got played last series. Uh, JoJo played it. It was. Series, but 
important technicalities the of this season format and what is at stake for Shopify moving forward? All right, mm -hmm. top's pretty much stable out. Scion's actually up a little During bit. During time, FlyQuest picked up the first rotation of Grubs. Neither team really having actually a Actually up a lot of XP, for, actually. For Scion's almost level Ocean. 7. So it seems like Shopify... Ours not even level 6. I think Scion gets level 7 on this wave. Lane assignments ...to see if they can set themselves up for that objective, but FlyQuest are not going to really give them that much ease of choice. This wave currently frozen right outside mm. of the tower for Masu has been quite punishing for B-Boy as he cannot step up safely. Yeah. Nice little CS difference for Masu Busio in the bot lane here. Also being able to threaten with Ash Arrow and I'm getting cooked here. Alistair Combo means it's very difficult for anyone to step up and get experience. The benefits of lane swap so far by FlyQuest, they have a level advantage in top and a level advantage in bot. So it was well executed despite the one death that they suffered when inspired. Kind of weird because Quad and played and more aggressive oh, against Boogie. Cats and as as Boogie. and uh, yep. and Boogie G2. Boogie has flashed his time. Tries to He's wait. Oh, no, he doesn't up. even get a chance. He gets put to sleep and Quad has the damage to knock him out. That was a little bit strange, actually. I'd almost feel like Boogie might have been looking somewhere else on the minimap when inspired yeah, that first was saw him a bit on vision. Odd. I actually want to see this replay with like a vision toggle. There's a chance Inspired also saw him with Sweeper before his actual model was revealed. Either way, they just one shot Boogie, and that's going to slingshot to Inspired to counter jungle as well. It's so necessary for FlyQuest as well, considering that the first blood was against Inspired early on on that top side play. Gets him back into the game. All right, let's sure watch this. Gold parody as we'll take a look back at the replay. I'm pretty sure he was looking to ult. Tell, uh, Boogie actually does see him, but just doesn't react instantly. So this is the red side vision right now from Boogie. And there he is. Oof. So Boogie was definitely thinking about lining his ult up. Yeah, he was trying to He was, probably ult, looking he was like, yeah, Because that's they were going to try and shove him back into insanity and go oh, for an all man. in. And his yeah, that's unfortunate. Him, well, I well, that's think he unfortunate. Was looking he was for sure trying to get his ult right. Screen. Yeah. That's tough. Yeah, that is so tough. I mean, it's because it's not a case of window shopping. It's a case of, you know, gank shopping. Gank shopping. Thank you. <laughs> well, for Shopify fans, it's not completely. I expect to Pippo GP. Oh my Quest God. Fans. It's definitely nice for Inspired to. Oh my God. That was sure disgusting. He's not massively behind Boogie. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. And let's not forget as well. This is a very important. You watch that? Practice. You're like, wait, that's a pro. Shopify being eliminated from the season, but FlyQuest can still get top two. So, very important matchup. They play against the recently defeated Cloud9. But if they win that series after winning this series, they get solo second, which means they get that first round playoff bye. So, Mish. very important. The Nars getting bodied. He can't even walk up here. He's scared of the dive. So they can take down Cloud9 next week and have it matter. That's if right. they lose this series, it would still be nice to be Cloud9, but it would get them top two. Yep. That advantage and opportunity would be gone. God. FlyQuest, having learned their, bot their lane's not the doing as well games, this game. Though, as we've already talked about before, Masu and Busio handling themselves well in this third game with the lane swap. And because neither team still has an optimal setup for that dragon, we've passed the time. Second mm. rotation of Grubs are already back up. No one's still contesting for the other objective. I don't think it's that's a bad sign game. Push, They're all, almost yeah, all AP. You just don't need to build for Talia. He very well might. They have Busio on the way up to match Zazel, who is already here. First, did C9 did get cooked? Was it close? close Megazo, so if he collapses down, he first game, Inspired very close. C9 won. No need to risk more. And it's a teleport Second game, they got curb stopped. Third game, so TL won. Really close for a little bit. Boogie picks up. Going in here? Grub in the game. Yeah, I, I think okay, Ash ult from way downtown. Way this hits somebody 100%. Arrow? It hits him. Yeah, from winning. downtown, right on to Zazel. Wait, wait, wait. Call from we ulted him to safety! Right wait, why do we knock him to safety, Busio? Losing low by will sleep one under the right side, but FlyQuest do not drop a single man. What are we doing? Flashes over the wall. Fake will That's a terrible flash. Steps a decimating smash, and he still wants to go for kind of a pussy ult. Fine. Sion passes is going to kill him there, though. He has my flash. No, he doesn't. And even in the oh, he has to fly. Uh, he, I don't know like how pancake. this work he's going to get done. Fake God is pushed Wait, off. Wait, maybe he can flash the wall kill. The Wait, what is that? He tries to flash, but he cannot escape. Inspire trades one back. And listen, this was perfect for FlyQuest with the way it played out. Think about how long this fight has happened. 
and think about how many hits Masu's gotten on this turret. There were five plates there when that fight started. That's three plates free over to Masu, so it's a one-for-one -one trade and a whole I bunch of gold. That was, on their this was carry. in a, yeah. Mention, they I don't still know. hit one of the grub breakpoints. I played with Busio's Alistar yesterday, game and it was plus. actually one pretty good, right? Because of it was kind of for fun Bupo's going AP Alistar. Later on in the game. I yeah. know it's unfortunate there because he got like stunned in the middle of his combo, but he W'd Rel the safety, in game one, and that right? Them to keep Whenever they kill, then Boogie as the game progressed and recognizing that. Well, yes. Just wasted his flash. Shopify commit to the play. He got stunned? Yes, but there's no reason to have a combo. Is what I'm saying. So for fly quest, like, you, you shouldn't combo. Like, I don't Shopify. think you just don't Do you combo. Have what it takes to blitz us in the first 15, 20 minutes of the game, and so far, fly quests are the ones ahead. Absolutely, Sunfire Cape com completed for Whippo Sion. We're 13 minutes into the game. The first ocean. I mean, break they both did it equally. That's what it is. Fallen. So that's music to FlyQuest's ears. As the longer this game goes, the stronger Where they're is the going replay? to be. Lucian Jin does not scale favorably against a Scion Alistair team comp. So they are stalling the I game. They had a well. lot of plates bought in. They're also in extending top. their gold lead. And this is a very controlled game state now at 14 minutes, as we approach 14 minutes for FlyQuest. Ah, man, solo gold onto the Corky, too, is just so nice for them. Yeah. Such a cleaner game map wise from FlyQuest than in game. You know, Mighty's players are playing in front of tens of thousands of players on an enormous stage. It's a lot different than solo two games. Can, even the advantages, it's yeah, you're right. It's so difficult <sighs> for right. Shopify to really force an advantage somewhere. And they're limited on the amount of reliable engage as well when you think about it. I mean, Gordon right, can initiate with slows. But you still need to get Zazel deep into the front line yeah. and then into the fight. Fake God needs to find that flank so he can find that NAR ultimate. These are not easy to execute things. No, they need to find picks that are inspired by Masu because Whippo and Busio aren't going to be dying that much. I mean, Whippo now just trying to move top to defend this turret against Insanity. Yeah, he's just going to ult straight oh, he in. He tried to block Maybe it, but he missed. Oh, my God. What's going on? He, weaved in and got a he might die here. He has no he has ghost. Health bar, but the answer back with the calling will push Whipple off. Throws out the angry beam up. Just they for get... show. But Inspired is working on I think Whipple's TP comes map. back up. He takes exactly. that turret, and they, and they get bot dragon. And they get first tower bot. Because he defended that turret. Quad got this is really bad for Spotify. Or lose him so much. Masu's hitting mid. And I'm actually a little disappointed that Whipple didn't recall and teleport back. But he feels like he doesn't even need to. He's just stepping back into that turret as they're pushing Fake God off the lane now. So just this is really bad. advantages across the map here for FlyQuest. They're playing great in this game three. Yeah, they yeah. are. And Fly are going to push in for this tier two. Boogie, the only thing that he can do is just try and start up this Rift Herald and claim it as another tool to knock out these turrets on the outer Not ring. Him. During this entire time, Jat, FlyQuest have taken out two turrets, four grubs. Shopify have not taken out a single turret. The defense from FlyQuest over this entire map but did I say Spotify again? Task so I meant Shopify. To try and find that advantage. Yeah, Whippo teleported back to the top lane as well to keep that turret alive. God damn it. And I don't know why I can't stop saying it. Ah, someone pick up the eye! Quad. Pick up Guys. the eye! No. Wait, no. wait, 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 Shopify. wait, wait, wait. No. <laughs> I mean, at least they won game two. <laughs> Guys, Guys, <laughs> what the are the we that, that's the doing? Relief. Yeah. This there is they, no the way FCS. you are we'll not next week picking up I, Shelly. I hate to be that guy, but this is a rough first 16 minutes against the scaling comp. It's the least exciting, unfortunately, the least exciting LCS game right now. But for Bro, Fly these West, are professional the players. They get is paid to, to play getting League of Legends. Seed, getting a playoff they are the highest the form of League of Legends that's all in this region. And if you're 100 Thieves watching this game, you're taking notes. You're looking at how FlyQuest are playing the map and how many uh, things that yeah, they're yeah. willing to give over, how many times they are willing to skirmish and scrap with shots. They're tired, and bro. They don't give an F about if they you lose. You pick up Rift Herald because when you complete it. Getting so many it is season on the 14. Map. Maybe when Rift Herald first was out, but come on. He's, he's dead here as well. He doesn't have flash. Uh, he's just this game's over. Nothing that Shopify could really do to bail him out. And I think Shopify is starting to lose their grounds here. As they're, they're starting to lose their.
brain, bro. What are you talking about? Extremely clean. I want to give credit. It's a mental breakdown. They, they had some they, struggles with their bot lane laning phase this series that put them in difficult positions in game one and game two. But now with the lane swap to give experience advantages to their top lane and their bot lane, they're just not giving Shopify a window back in this game. They know they have better scaling, but they don't even need the scaling with the way they are playing the map. We're right they gonna now. realize it, by the you way. Can pick an early game comp. And one of the best outcomes is a 5,000 gold lead at 17 minutes. Yep. But they're doing this just straight up through rotating around the map properly, finding the right picks, and generating gold on the right people. Quad is so fed this game. The two probably kills never. Nice, no, they, they, they for sure have noticed. They're probably like, oh my god. Kills. So FlyQuest just getting back on track after a shaky start to this series. Yeah, and any fight that FlyQuest okay, takes now they're like kind of just jacking it around. So confident and just storming into the jungle. I mean, a little bit of damage. Takes a lot of damage on the back end, but he's a tank. I didn't he like this shit. I didn't like him the first time he picked HP either. Only, and he's still fine because he burned the flash from B. I don't think Jin's yeah, the he's worst. Not even late game yet. He's uh. He's a very strong Scion. That shield already, shield passive already given him 650 additional health. Probably a Warmog's game at some point. I do wonder if he's just going to build more armor for now. You lose though, XP and gold yep, when letting an enemy kill Harold. It could be better if you're behind to just not spot. No. Blow all the cooldowns just on a Scion. No. And then none just for the utility as well. Taking it. Like, it, it, it's a I get out of jail free. You can fight, get in it, run away. Because you have to play your draft well. Yeah. But... It's what it feels like. <laughs> it definitely does. <laughs> and the execution for FlyQuest has been stellar. And this is what we've come to expect from a top team like FlyQuest against Shopify, I mean, who have struggled flash. for a majority of the summer split. Despite the recent revitalization in these past two weeks, mm. it is still what we've all predicted to be favored massively for FlyQuest. God. And the fact that they're able to now rein back the controls in find the windows of what was causing them problems in the early game and completely bypassing it. Yeah. Now Shopify don't have the advantages to get oh back. Oh my god, in. he's gonna die here. Fizzle might have to flash at least, I think. No, this gets out of there, no problem. Nicely done. But I mean, they're down trade, so much. In that trade, Shopify had to just send two people to, to Whippo to take the top, top turret. Turn and they lost their inner Only one dragon, so there's turret. a late soul point. Lane turret. But... So another trade up for FlyQuest. And they're gonna go back, spend that gold. They got over a thousand gold in four different pockets, so they'll be much stronger the next time they redeploy. Yep. Yeah, this is not a good game by Boogie. They started out really well though with really killing Lilia, and then they, the they didn't do anything after that. Faced with problems like no proactive in the plays, game nothing. That they cannot brute force their way through, or you know, frankly, hands check. Yeah. Then they come up with Oogie. solutions, and clearly that that second game end of talk. It outside proved very fruitful as FlyQuest identified a proper game plan going into this game three yeah. where Shopify are just truly running out of options to come back. For sure. Bwipo, I think, hadn't been playing up to his standards in this series. Yeah, they banned his Rectin. He's all over the place in this game two, in this game three. Lucio flashing over and after Boogie. He's not getting anywhere. FlyQuest have complete control of the map. I mean, and if you think about it, Boogie's you're probably like, jungle. see, the, yeah, this is people gonna like, shut the about kills. Game. He's like, well, the score is only four to two. He's zero, one, and two on Sion with only hundred. Oh, the score is only four to two, like bro. You can win. No, but if you're the enemy team, man, this Sion has been so incredibly hard to deal with. He's been one v two, one v three, one v four, defending turrets the entire game, and he's still making a large impact when the team does go for fights. So, really well played by Bwipo. Quad as well. In this, I mean, we've talked a little bit. I about hate lane swaps. Quest, and. How I mean, I think they were better. Call. Yeah. Their first matchup of the whole split was against Team Like, Sion played that bot side. Kill the couple they swapped really APA. well, but they did kill the Leo Jensen, Jungle top. The flame is at its peak, and he's really stabilized his game since then. Yeah. That's, we just hit Baron here, guys. Quest is lost, yeah. actually. So they've been on a bit of a run of themselves, even if they've dropped uh, several games along the way. They're winning all these series with their ability to adapt. We're gonna quirky every game today. Five yep, all six. And it's fitting for Quad too, considering all six games the opponents quirky. that he has faced in the past weeks up to this point. Teams like Dignitas, you know that that was the team that Jensen went to after, and so many people were criticizing, calling it's like, "Hey, Quad, there's no way that he's better than Jensen." He solo killed him twice mm. in the reverse mirror matchup in both games. Yeah. He takes on Quid, another person who would have been. Strong composition considering that he was the reigning MVP, and he's able to deal with him just fine. Scale outscales him, is able to play out the fights hard, 
and provides God. as much damage as he can for FlyQuest in those team fights. So Quan has been. See, up that's what I kind of agree. Can somebody just tell these players that they're Fly playing for our entertainment? Do something to me. His core at some really point, if we like now, understood that this was an entertainment region, and, like we didn't lock in the most boring Whip picks, but somebody said that next split it's fearless or something, which would be actually good. This game, okay, the game ends. It's fine. They got cooked this game. And that should put this game to rest as FlyQuest will knock down three. They're gonna have to wait on the next minion wave, so. They're gonna do Baron. Oh on trying to push in for the Nexus, but that Baron is theirs. Yep, Boogie down, Insanity down, Zazel still respawning. Gotta walk around the pit. But yeah, but like next one's also one Brazil Baron team and one tier two team. I think that's better time. because it creates so confident, like narratives. No, like, oh, so can just fly you know how, how right now we say like EU, LUL. Well, right now, to next year, we can say BR, LUL, or like whatever. Another team catches a bit of turret. And they can say the same thing about NA. Baron is secured as well, and that is a big lead. And before Jad, if we weren't confident saying this game is over, I think we can now safely say with an 8,000 gold I mean, advantage. I, I've been reading some comments online, and yeah? something happened where an 8,000 gold lead wasn't safe. So you do have to stay yes, engaged but that in the was game in your rock I've learned this. All right. But that well, is in God your rock pa. That fake God, they're all. Oh, is this, this doesn't look bad, actually. And making sure that Shopify can Pull not up. follow up. Oh. Boogie is there with the Weaver's Wall. Cuts oh. off Masu. Curtain call. Trying to weave the bullets around. Fake God takes out Jesus. Busio. But Busio. here comes Blippo with the unstoppable onslaught. As he smashes Boogie to the ground with the giant axe. And Quad is now back on the offensive. Looking for fake Whoa. God. Zazel tries to come back. <laughs> you <laughs> but it's a whiff. Everyone from FlyQuest sidesteps it. Masu with the double. B-Boy on the run to the left side. And I think this might have been Shopify's last Hail Mary to come back. <laughs> Let me wrap this, this up. <laughs> Blazes inspired sends him back to the fountain. Insanity's on the run. And he's going to have to make a hell of a base defense against the five members of FlyQuest. The death timers might be short enough that it might not be. <laughs> Let me wrap this, this up. up. <laughs> just say so. <laughs> That's how the oh, oh, was too close This massive static shiv ran up the whole wave to finish him. They'll at least get the Oh, big Z, bro. Turret. They have a lot of gold, but they're going to stay aggressive. Oh, oh big God. Z. Maybe Allow me to wrap this one up for us, guys. He pulled a weak side, side of William, bro. <laughs> yeah. And, be next. and then Jat was like, whoa. Like, like, like what is this guy? Quest and Shopify to absorb any poke damage. Both of the inhibitors are gone. Shopify are going to try to look <laughs> Oh my them god, bro. <laughs> FlyQuest, get enough distance. Maybe that's, that's what NA that. needs. Just yeah, people just start blatantly running it down. In the oh of my god. He full buys his Navori Flicker Blade. And okay, this didn't look bad. Time. Shopify just doing their best to collect uh, the bounties. But then also... They have a bit of a numbers advantage, so they decide to go in pretty hard at the start of this fight. You understand why they like, would do this. Like, if that W hits, it's a Masu, win. So it's time to all in. Uh, but then, when Masu doesn't die, he then cleans up the outside Yes, because Jin missed W. But if Jin hits W, that's actually a win. As long as not too Watch much Watch Zazel here. This team is nowhere to be found. <laughs> Masu actually does kill Fake God. So Zazel gets a little closer <laughs> to the wave. <laughs> Oh, You're right. Oh, Big Z, baby. We love to see it. Big Z. Jack Clens from B-Boy. Uh, uh, yes, sir. Falling in the top side, and now double super minions oh pouring God. into the base. We got to watch that 10, replay after this. For Fly Quest. This seems... Like yeah, is it like out of nowhere? You didn't even see him. <laughs> like, still bro. Try. Fake God tries to leap forward while he's still in Mega, but now <laughs> pops back down to Mini. Curtain call. Trying to open up and Behind find an tanks. angle. But Whippo yeah, he's not doing anything. I don't like this Jin will absorb pick. the damage. Zazel goes in. Decent damage on to Masu. Below 50% HP. Right, but they lost. got his punt it in. And that should be I it. mean, there are some Flight signs West of life from, from, from uh, Shopify. They, they are way better than Immortals. Shopify way better. To go they show the more upset. life. And FlyQuest now move to one step closer for that playoff buy. It wasn't... The 2 0 that many predicted, <laughs> but it is the Fly Quest. Now it will all come down to that series they have against Cloud9 next week to see. Did who he emote after two? I'll watch. I'll watch. Give me a second.
I gotta watch this uh, and get interview. That first round playoff by. And even though Shopify would have loved to win this series against FlyQuest, <laughs> they did no what needed to be interview. done to keep their season alive. Where's and Big Z at? Yeah, yeah Brofist! Bro <laughs> Big Z! Brofist! Brofist! GG! GG! Thank you very much. I'm gonna try to grab Whippo after the bow. Whippo! Yeah. <laughs> Good, how are you? What? Oh, 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 I didn't hear you. How are you? I don't know, it was, um, it was a good day. I, I mean, uh, we won, so that's nice. I feel like, um, I don't know, I, I think I'm pretty happy about today because I feel like even though people complain about the you know, bottom of the standings in the LCS, I think Shopify is a team that actually put in a lot of work and uh, you can see when, when, when they get the drafts they like and they play their own game, they play pretty damn good. So. The crowd is happy to hear that. Uh, I think, yeah, a lot of people had identified Shopify of the one win teams as like the most dangerous in terms of punching up. One thing I did want to talk about is you have this interesting attitude, or not, it, it is interesting, but it's a little bit different than a lot of other top laners where you really, really highly value tanks, even in this current double 80 meta. Um, and going into this, you picked Scion. Um, and then you guys prep the swap. You and TL are kind of these two big swap teams. So I guess talk to me through the Scion pick and the strategy. Um, well, like uh, AD carries are OP and they build crits. So if you buy Randwin's Omen on a tank, you're pretty damn tanky. Scion gets, uh, I don't know, like, like, I don't know, he gets like to a thousand extra health just by existing. So you count that with some crit damage reduction. It's pretty good, I don't know. Also, you know, um, I'm pretty good at Scion, so I like him. <laughs> uh, thank, thank you. Thank you. Um, and then the swap, I don't know, uh, I think it's trauma from uh, MS, uh, well, yeah, MSI. Uh, I hate it's, it's swap. It's pretty bad trauma, screwing some of the best teams and getting swapped on all the time. Like, it's, it's rough, so it makes sense that us and TL like swapping, because it's like, some of, the, some of the things they do to us in scrims, like, ooh. Like, you don't forget those, so we, don't, we didn't forget those, and we're still using the swaps to our advantage, because, I mean, yeah, obviously Scion's great in swaps, but even when we don't use Scion, and you don't see Scion in other games, uh, swapping is, is, is popular, because, it's just a good way to keep the game stable, and if you're confident in your mid-game macro, and especially if you're drafting some greedy mid to late game spiking champions like Jax or Scion, um, can be a really good way to get ahead. And then looking forward, you mentioned some disgusting things in scrims, but overall, uh, you face C9 next. They did suffer a defeat What's to next CL week? today, but they're still looking really strong. So what are you looking from your team in preparing to go up against C9? Uh, I don't know, I feel like, I, I really, I was jealous watching the games, you know? I was, uh, like the first game especially, they had like seven team fights in 26 minutes, and I'm like, damn, I miss, I miss that kind of game, you know? Yeah, like, that, that's like, that's what League is all about for me, and uh, that's what being, playing competitively, like, all my best memories of the games, like, I, w you respawn, you group up again, you look for another fight, like, there's like one or two waves on side you catch, and He's instantly spitting. you find True, they did 5v5, he's spitting. I just hope it's a banger like that, that's what I'm looking forward to. All right, well, I'm looking forward to it too. I'll see you then. Thank you so much for taking the time. And we'll send it to the lounge to close it out. All right, let's watch this. And it's back. Bro, I gotta watch this. I, sorry, I gotta watch this again. The windows of what. Did this. I, I, I missed his top hat emote. Okay, this is the replay. I know. Yes, it was. And I think this might have been Shopify's last hail. And making sure okay, that Shopify cannot this. follow up. Boogie is there okay, with whatever the whatever they miss. Masu, Kurt and Cole, let me watch this in real time. Around. Fake God takes out Busio, but here comes Blippo with the unstoppable onslaught as he smashes Boogie to the ground with the giant axe. Okay, and, and then out of nowhere, the you, dude, look at, this, look at this, by the way. You don't see it on screen. Out of nowhere, look at this. Boogie to the ground with the you see Rel come trotting in on her horse. Right? I got this, guys! He comes in, like, trotting in! Flashes everything! Misses, or, on Tyrol, misses the stun! Right, gets one shot! He's trying to spam top hat emo! Like, bro, what the... What could possibly be going through his head right here? Look, he dies while spamming top hat emo! The offensive looking for fake on Zazel tries to come back in with a counter attack, but it's a whiff. Everyone from FlyQuest sidesteps it. Masu with the double. Ah! On the to the left side. And I think this might have been <laughs> Shopify's last Hail Mary to come back. Uh, bro, I can't believe this shit. 
looking for fake odds. What are the <laughs> what are the comms like? <laughs> like guys, 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 back out! It's lost. It's lost. We can't win. Everybody, run! Big Z. I got this, guys! Looking for <laughs> like, dude. <laughs> Shift proc also kills Snar. <laughs> Bro, what the dude? This is not the, like the, the most grief solo queue play you are the most grief play you maybe have ever seen in your life. Bro, I respect the f out of Zazel for that shit. That is gold. That's what NA is all about, baby. I wish. There was more of that right there. <laughs> One more time. One more time. For the road, real quick. She smashes Boogie to the ground with a giant axe, and Quad is now back on the offensive, looking for fake on Zizel. You were just say whoa in the background. Bro, and Quad is now back on the offensive, looking for fake on Zizel. Tries to come back in with a counter attack, but it's a whiff. Everyone from FlyQuest sidesteps it. Ah, GG, bro. GG. B-boy on the run to the left. All right, that was the last game for the for the week. Oh my god, comedy, bro. Not bad games overall. Not bad games overall at all. That is it for us. We will co-stream again next week, I believe, and that's the final week. And then the next week is playoffs, I believe. Oh wait, s wait, no wait. So next week it's Flight Quest versus. C9 for second place. And then it's Spotify versus 100 Thieves. Winner goes to playoffs. Listen to Cash with True. True, bro. Shopify. 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 Me, I keep forgetting. Sorry. Whatever. Okay, so that's what it is next week.